look at this world. I know, Addy, look! Let's move everything on. Bingle's my name. I'm scared now. I'm gonna believe that that's a mannequin arm. <gasps> that play! <laughs> look at their little toe beans. Good morning. Happy Friday. We are straying a little from what we usually do, which is our cooking streams to play Stray. I am so excited. Josh is looking weird at the computer cables. Oh, Addie's up. Addie's here. Addie says hi. Um, and she would like to show you off her fox. Oh, you're giving me some lighting. <laughs> Josh thinks I need some lighting, apparently. <laughs> yes, good morning, Addie. You were so chill just before. <laughs> She's just so excited that I'm streaming Stray. I don't know how she'll go actually with watching a cat on screen. <laughs> yeah, whenever she sees a dog on screen, she goes, mm, she goes a bit nuts. Sorry. <gasps> the cat moved. It's been blurred out this whole time. It looks amazing. Uh, yes, so I haven't played this before and I've really, ooh is doing noises josh out of the speakers is it oh no it's just super loud in my yeah no. <laughs> it changed music i was gonna say that this whole time there's been no music but now there is it's pretty before that it was just like a static noise so that's interesting um yes yeah, so i've hardly seen anyone play this i've really tried to stay away from watching people because i want to experience it firsthand myself um so let's just check out what settings we have um is there a difficulty <laughs> i don't know we'll just start start game i've heard amazing things and i've only seen maybe 10 seconds all up of actual gameplay also dystopian is like my favorite genre Last of Us is my all-time favourite game. And I love cats, so this is just like the perfect married couple. Kitties. Also, I did just wake up. <laughs> I woke up like half an hour ago, so I do have my tea. Kind of like the weather outside, almost. Oh, it's me. No, oh. scratch your back for attack. I can't quite tell. <laughs> no, I know how you look. <laughs> yep, she can tell. She can tell they're cats. <laughs> Oh, Addy is smacking the mic around. Addy, down you, oh, oh, down you get. Addy. Oh my goodness, you're gonna rip the headphones out. Down you get, I know. She's, she's peeking, she's peeking, down you get. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a nice up, up nose shot of this little kitty of ours. Uh, all right, let's. I know, I don't know how this is going to go with her. Addie, on your bed. Play with your fox toy, please. Addie, on your bed. Do it. On your bed, you're not listening. Oh, I know, but if you stay there, you're going to get... <gasps> Mercedes! I know, kitties. Kitties. I f I'm finally playing Stray. I've really not seen much at all like 10 seconds maybe i saw the trailer and i was hooked instantly We've got addy right here who's she also wants to play with them she's not had any interaction with cats really i know <laughs> addy i know i'm sorry you can't play with them <laughs> oh, we're gonna Addy, 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 she's on the keyboard. <laughs> Josh, help! <laughs> Josh, help! <laughs> Obsidian, thank you so much for the sub. 
love mommy playing as a cat on Excel. I think that's exactly what she was thinking. I hope all the sounds are right and she didn't unplug anything. But yeah, she. You're okay. I might even. I don't know if I need the keyboard. Yes. I might just move the keyboard. Just get rid of this because she keeps stepping on it and she's going to do something bad. Uh, uh, Josh is just restraining her. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Is that a better spot for it, Josh? Yeah, that's better. I need like a tray, a tray where I can put the keyboard. Okay, back to the actual game. Um, anyway, oh wait, yes, Obsidian. Obsidian, thank you so much for the sub. Two months in a row. <laughs> and Lucidius, yes, mommy is playing as a cat. Right, right, right. And Obsidian lurking. Thank you so much for the lurk. It's really, really appreciated. Uh, let's see what we can do. Also, I hope you're doing well, Obsidian. And thank you again for the sub. It's so nice to see. Oh, where are we going? Where would our kitties go? Access control. Meow. Oh, I know how to meow now. Oh, so cute. Good thing Addy can't hear it. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, I'm just going for a snooze. <laughs> De bear, hi! <laughs> We're playing Stray for the very first time. We've got through about the first two minutes and Addy's already lost her mind. <laughs> and now she's sulking. She's probably put herself in the room. She jumped on the keyboard. I don't know if you saw that, but... Oh, she's coming back now. You finished sulking, Addy? <sighs> Butterfly. It's such a pretty game. It's gorgeous. Oh, yes it is. You've been speedrunning this uh, the last few days. Yes, you are just the master at speedrunning. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Lucidius plays Ori in the Blind Forest a lot and uh, speedruns. I know, Addy! <laughs> just threw herself at the screen. Addy, down you get! Addy! You kind of scared me there for a second. Down you get! Inside the wall. I'm trying to take you to win. <laughs> I might have to get her a yogurt mat. Oh, you can't even see her. She's just that close to the screen, you can't even see her. I hope I haven't missed anything. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and thank you, yes, Josh, for the shout out for Lucidius. Definitely go check them out. Their streams are so satisfying to watch. I wish I was that good at Ori. I'm definitely not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me until you turn that cat game off. Yeah. Yep. Where is she? Oh, she's. Nope, she's getting some food. That's good. <gasps> Look at this world. It's been raining. Do we get to just roam the world with our cat friends? Look, they're coming with me. <gasps> oh, and look at all the. Like the rays of sun. Yeah, grab her with food to just chill out. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Meow. This game has some fun achievements. Excellent. Oh, good. We're in the tutorial bit. I already knew how to meow. I want to jump, though. How do I jump? Pressing all the buttons. We don't know how to do that yet. Do I have a name? Bingles. Bingles, Josh just said. Is Bingles my name? Oh, we're gonna learn how to jump. Oh! Cat play! <laughs> oh, look at their little toe beans. <gasps> Free childhood! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi there. We are playing Stray. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, first time ever playing this game. Don't know if you missed it, but Addy was losing her mind 
before because we're playing a cat game. Oh, now we know how to jump. We just started. So you haven't missed anything. I know how to meow and I know how to jump. How are you doing, Bree Charlesworth? And have you played this game? Oh, L2 and up. Oh, we're scratching. They're scratching the tree. Oh, oh we're really <laughs> Really scratching it now. Oh, we probably don't want to file down our nails completely. I think given the situation that we're in, we're probably going to have to... Are we going to have to fight things? I don't know. We're probably going to need our claws. <laughs> so let's not file them down to, like, little nubs. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed with this world. I love, yep, yeah, like, post-apocalyptic, dystopian kind of vibes. And look at me walk like a cat and you can see the detail of like the ground flicking up where I'm walking. I'm so happy. Let's go look at this waterfall. <laughs> uh, I already want to play this game. <sighs> I'm good. Ooh, we can jump up there. I don't want to die. Oh, we're a cat so we have to stand on the ledge. <laughs> Please don't jump. Um, how do we get down? Full to our death already. <laughs> uh, you definitely should play this game, Bree. I'm already, what, three minutes in now. And I'm already highly recommending it. Just for the fact that you can be a cat. Look at it. Sorry, I'm taking so much time. <laughs> um, let's see this. I already have too many hours in this game. Oh. Oh. Scary kitty pose. Oh, okay, our eyes are back to normal. How do I get... Good. Let's get down. I don't want to die just yet. At all. It's good. You can jump a fair way. I'm going to lick the water. Yes. I love that we have friends. I didn't know that we had friends. Alright, I can stop when I want to stop. <laughs> I was going to say, that's some um, Addy levels of drinking water there. Addy has just finished her food, by the way. That's that noise. Yes, Josh is off to maybe get her a yogurt mat, Josh. More water. Yeah, when Addy goes drink water, she just drinks for like a minute straight <laughs> and then her belly gets all, all full of water. <laughs> That's a very cute em emote with the, the cat and the sunnies. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Um, you said Doggo's name. <laughs> yeah. Yup. As soon as I say Addy. <laughs> Then she usually comes running wherever, wherever she is in the house. Okay, so I'm so intrigued as to what happened in this world. Humans clearly did something. Uh, not so great. Like that's, looks like that's fallen away. Hi, cat. Oh. <laughs> so cute. So, we think our name's Bingles. Oh, pigeons. No, I want to get them. No. Oh. Damn it, you're my least favorite now. <laughs> I wanted to scare the pigeons. I wanted to sneak up on the pigeons, actually. Is that, is that a tunnel underground? She turned around to the camera immediately, did she? <laughs> There's already a crap load of mods for this game. Ah, well that's cool. Don't know where we're going, but we're 
taking a detour from wherever our friends are going. No, we're not. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Can we jump on the tree? I don't see any health bars, so I wonder if we can't actually die. We are cats, so... Pretty invincible. Um, oh, there's a Garfield one! <laughs> Even the sound changes when you walk on the pipe. My mind is just constantly blown. Ugh, I'm being very cautious for a cat. <laughs> It feels really nice to play as well, but there's no like lag as soon as I, oh I want to get up there, as soon as I press a direction then it, oh what's this, human personnel only, human personnel, nine lives yes, yeah yep, yeah. that's why. <laughs> House just walk around like they own the place because they do because they'll probably be long here longer than us clearly this, this is what the game's all about um so this door says human personnel only and then there's a different language there mm. an invasion okay i was blaming the humans but probably oh chain jumps this was made in Unreal Engine 4. Oh, oh, ah, I'm scared. <laughs> that was kind of terrifying. Um, oh good, I thought I lost my friends, but they're waiting for me. Even just the sound of the rain. So I guess we know what I'm going to be doing all day. Let's go this way. You know what? No, I'm too scared that it will lose our friends. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. That's right. Rookie mistake. We didn't have a frozen looking at Addy already. Usually we have like, I don't know, seven or so in the freezer ready to go. Especially if we just get an unannounced visit <laughs> and Addy goes bonkers, we need to have, um, yeah, frozen yogurt on a mat. No. Bath time. Ah, oh, I want to jump of my own free will. <gasps> and look at the flowers move. I know, she's <laughs> Addy is right here, Josh is trying it, there she is, she's up. My mouth. <laughs> Daddy. Must you lick my lips? Daddy get Daddy you get to rip my headphones out. <laughs> oh. oh that's very slobbery. Oh very slobbery. Mmm. Yeah, you just had breakfast. I can I can taste it on your lips. Thanks for that, Addy. Oh <laughs> that is an apt emote. It is. Yep. Oh, you're gonna have to drink some tea after that. She is right here. She's poised and ready to jump. On your bed, Addy. <laughs> this might have been a big mistake having Addy out. <laughs> She's gonna get so frustrated that she can't play with them. Oh, look at me trot. Addy. <laughs> She's oh my goodness, Addy girl. We need an Addy cam. Josh actually has an Oh, she's she's up again. <laughs> Addy! Oh, she literally just grabbed onto my leg like this. Like, don't. Josh was pulling her down. Uh, I remember when you used to hate that before you got Addy. Wait. Tongues down my throat? Yeah. <laughs> is, is that what we're talking about? 
Ooh. That was very cool. But. Meow. Do my friends come to me when I meow? That one looked at me. L2. Had to think about that for a second. Don't you do it. I'm going to have to get her a whole bunch of toys so she can just chill out. Oh. They move. <gasps> dog looking faces in general. Yeah. Yeah. I think once it's your own doggo, you know where they've been and you know what they've just eaten. Addie's only just eaten food. She's not a little pup anymore where she was eating more than just her food. <laughs> oh no. That's me, isn't it? Help me. Is that that's me, that's Bingles. Josh, is that me? Okay, that's me. At least it's not one of our friends. I thought they were just going to show us one of our friends dying and be like, it's a cruel world. Mine ate cat poop, not a vibe. Mm, dogs are... Dogs, dogs are gross like that. Yeah, Addie went through a phase. Oh, they're meowing to me. Addie went through a phase about a year ago, because she's a year and a half now, where she was obsessed with eating her food twice so she'd eat her poop and we we have some awful awful stories which oh no i'm disorientated oh no what's all this on the ground i'm so glad our friend didn't die though it's just me i'll find my way back <laughs> We fell quite a ways. I think that might be one of our lives. <laughs> that bag moving. What are they? Squirrels. Hmm. Couldn't help but laugh at the meow cry. <laughs> <laughs> Different reaction to me then. I thought it was cute. They're trying to find me. Now I have to find them. We're even. We're even. Oh, we're definitely walking a bit, bit slower. Oh no. See, I don't think we can do that. As cat like as we are with our abilities oh she's back again I love how things move when you kick them and there's there's so many things that move when you kick them oh she she speaking of she did a poop <laughs> that's good because she didn't actually do one yesterday and that very unlike her. Oh, what's over here? Oh, now I don't know where to go because my friends aren't showing me. I guess we can go anywhere. Oh, what was that noise? What? I hadn't finished exploring that way. Mm. I'm scared to go out in the open. <laughs> I'm scared. Did something just flash up on my screen then? I missed it. It was like a little white thing in the left corner. Oh! Dead city. Yeah, it's kind of dead. Someone just been throwing trash out the window. Look at that, it's like caught on. I was just about to point and then I realized you can't, <laughs> you can't see where I'm going to point to. What was that? 
What a... That's not a squirrel. Um... So L1 and L2 were our scratching. Let's get up higher than them. One went that way. And two went that way. Oh, look at the signs. Um, it's like a fire head. Should probably get a better look at that sign. Oh, the fan scared me. I saw movement out of my... <laughs> Out of my side right there. Oh, pandemic protocol. Do not try to exit the city. Stay home. Avoid <laughs> just chilling out. Um, avoid any contact with other residents, violating the rules of confinement. Mm, that seems pretty pretty familiar. Given our pandemic, although all this different writing. Yeah, definitely some sort of like Invasion has happened. Why is that light on? Why are there lights on? Nah. Okay. Thought maybe there was going to be. I don't know. An entry into somewhere. It's got writing up there. Every door basically has these computer things above them and security cameras yeah they'll definitely try to keep people in their homes i did hear that there were places in china where they they completely locked people's doors well oh it's we're being watched, guys. But yeah, they um like completely uh like barraged up people's doors. So they wouldn't leave. And then I think they had food delivered to them like in the big apartment complexes in, in China. Um I'm concerned. Should we have not let them see us? I was just in that bucket. <laughs> now they've done so well. Look. <laughs> they've done so well with engaging with the things in the environment. Well, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of trash. <laughs> Run. What does that say? Oh, I thought we we're gonna be able to read it. No, we can we can jump on it. <laughs> Robots. So either they came and invaded us, or we built them and they overtook us. Either way, we should probably be very concerned about AI. <laughs> like the one, um, there was an article that I read a while ago about someone, I think they work at Google, and they were deeply concerned and had basically quit their job because they had created an AI that was learning and evolving and adapting, and they were terrified. Oh, no trumpets. <laughs> No music. Mmm. I wonder why. The robots didn't like it. Maybe that's their weakness. Well, this place is disgusting. Another dead one. Uh, help! Uh, help! I'm getting goosebumps. They've perfectly timed all the the music and sound effects there. Uh, we definitely don't want to jump on that, do we? La NDA, is that what it is called? By the way, terrifying. <laughs> I 
Do I want to risk going that way and exploring? I'm definitely an explorer when it comes to games. Yeah, he called the AI La MD. Yep. Lambda. Josh just whispered next to me. <laughs> That is just self-entertaining, so that's good. It told him it gets lonely. <laughs> I wonder what it's doing now. Can you hear Addie galloping? She's just galloping around with her fox toy. Oh, good. Like, I know I'm not going to be able to carry any weapons or anything, but I am looking around. Oh, follow me. And there's cat. What? I think it's a trap. I think it's because that, uh, that camera was watching us and it knows we're a cat. And this seems awfully directed at me. Yep. And see, there's a camera up there. Follow me. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to? Um, yeah, look, I'm being watched. <laughs> Doggo gets lonely to put Kitty down. Yeah, she's she's on the couch right now. Josh has an Addy cam for his stream, but he hasn't set one up for my stream. What's that about, Josh? Need to go through and do it, in OBS. I need a second webcam or to do some trickery. How do I? I can't jump anywhere. What? Oh, there's a ladder though. Oh, no, I can just jump really high. <laughs> what? Why do you want me to? Oh, I got a bucket! Look, Josh, I have a bucket. Look, guys, I have a bucket. Like, oh, look. Wait, well, I, I, it's through my chin. <laughs> It'd be cuter if I was actually holding it in my mouth, but I now have a bucket piercing. <laughs> it's through my chin. Oh. I just remembered when there was someone at school who gave themselves their own piercing. At school. Oh, well, we can jump with bucket. No, I want to be up there. Still on an angle, maybe, so I don't jump straight off. I wonder how, why I have this bucket. Oh, to ram it in the fan, maybe. Drop. Oh. I got a lot closer than I was planning to, but my, let's just not get chopped up. That's very cool. Good thing I didn't drop the bucket. <sighs> Wait, it's on my list. What are you talking about, Josh? Doing your own piercing is on your list. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting Addy Cam, wasn't it? Oh, getting Addy Cam. I was like, what? Are you going to give yourself a piercing? Oh, let's knock off the paint. Yes! <laughs> Bye! It is just the most fun being a cat. I was thinking when this game came out was it last week did it come out last week yeah i think so yeah i think it came out last week um and i had seen the trailer beforehand and i was just instantly just obsessed and knew i had to um i was thinking oh i kind of wish you could have like the choice of being like a little doggo that runs around as well but addy certainly wouldn't have the dexterity to do this Hopefully we don't need those things of paint. 
Because we just knocked them all off. Addy girl. Addy's seen the cat again. She was watching it push this stuff off. <laughs> but yes, if we could have Addy cam. Yeah. So we can't this stream. Not this stream, not yeah. that stream. Okay, well not this stream. Um but a future one. So when Josh does his stream, Addy's got a little bed there. Oh, she's up again. <laughs> Addy. Addy girl. <laughs> if Josh wasn't here pulling her off me. I don't oh. Watch out for those spikes. Hmm. Can we move this plank of wood? Oh, there's so many spikes. Jump. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a bit, a bit jittery there. <gasps> it's quite jittery. That's the game. Follow me. Is the robots. It's definitely the robots. They're luring me there and I know it, but I have to do it for the story, don't I? Right away. Uh, this section is known for the spikes for some reason. Y yeah, for some reason. <laughs> Look at all the spikes everywhere. Can you die in this? Uh, you would have to be able to die in this game. More paint! Ah. I didn't even remember what we were up here for, but... Oh, I don't think my cat liked that. Big of a jump. <laughs> uh, what did I miss? Um, had he jumped up? A few times. <laughs> I pushed a lot of paint everywhere. And I'm pretty sure the robots are luring me towards them with, like, help me, help me, I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, to the little jittery oh, lag spike. Oh, that's what you were referring to. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it was a little bit jittery then. Uh, 11th of October. What year? I need to know what year. I love these kind of exploratory games where you can just look at posters on the wall and put things together. Are we in China? I don't know. Josh, did you do languages at school? I didn't. Oh, I did Japanese for years, but I remember very little. Just something I didn't do at schooling. Oh. Oh, we got... We got oh, no, I don't want to rub off my paint footprints. I want to keep them on. Definitely want to keep them on. Look at my little... Oh, they rubbed off. That's alright, we will scratch up this carpet right now. Yeah. <laughs> It feels so good because the like the remote is also vibrating as you scratch the rug. Look at our damage. <laughs> We're doing this one as well. Oh, I know how to zoom in now. Apparently, <laughs> happens for everyone. You're right. The spike bit. Cool. It wasn't just me or the stream. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And we scratch. Where we want to just oh that what <laughs> um <laughs> you cannot see me wait this was me i did this this is the paint that i threw down <laughs> and now i have wet footprints again no i don't damn it it makes a squelchy noise can you hear that why don't I have footprints? Oh, I do. Paint. I wish I didn't disappear, though. Ah. Oh. I swear my other footprints, they disappeared. Let's just do some art for a little second. <laughs> oh. oh, I love the movement. How cool is that? <laughs> Oh, this is a good way for Harrison to get to know Auntie Jess's voice. Oh, hi, 
Hi, Harrison. <laughs> Harrison's there. <gasps> oh, how is Harrison today? I want to see. <laughs> Oh, let's push more things off. Josh is, Josh is right here. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. He's like, hello. Oh, picture. Wait, Josh, so you did Japanese. Yes. Can you come tell me if this is Japanese? Um, Brie, you also did Japanese. Is any of this Japanese? Is that Japanese right there? Don't think so. There's some more writing over here. Wait, wait a minute. Over... What was that writing? Oh, up there. Is any of that Japanese? No. Okay, it's their robot language, is it? <laughs> oh. I agree. Yeah, and Josh is here. <laughs> um, he's got a little cold, but he's handling it like a champ. Yeah, yeah well, well, toffee. I hope, hope he feels all better really, really soon. There's so much of that going around. Like colds and the runa again. So that's not great. I am a thirsty kitty. I'm always. There's <laughs> a weird thing. <laughs> Out of contact. Someone that, please. No. <laughs> oh, just getting over cold yourself. Yeah, colds are awful. And I haven't had one in ages, so I'm sure the next one that I do get. Is gonna be shocking because I haven't had a cold in eight like years, and I have heard. <laughs> Look at my toes. <laughs> um, I've heard quite a few people say. Oh. I don't know how long that was. Um, that they haven't had colds in ages, and then they've got one recently, and it's been shocking. Um, had a heap of hand and foot mouth. Oh, yeah. I had, I did see that on Google News the other day, that that was making a comeback, which isn't great. Okay, there's lots of numbers. What do the numbers mean? 0548, 08, 08. Mm. So the robots have been marking the humans inside for something. Probably disease, pandemic. Maybe it was something like the... The... COVID. Oh, we're in a bucket. We're in a bucket. <laughs> also, I should go pick up another bucket like I did before. That was really handy. What? That was weird. Did you see that? Oh. And trash bag. <laughs> um, 0476, 2466. So all those stickers are the same. Hmm. I wonder if it's, it's like there's like some sort of categorizing for the, for the robots. Um, you're immune, uh, immune to cold, confirm. Rona, yes. Eek. Josh and I were so good for that first two years there, and then, oh, how long ago? Months and months and months ago. Then we got COVID for the first time. And it was not fun. So that was the closest I've come to having a cold for a while, but that was so much worse than a cold. It was so much worse. And now we have quite a few friends that have it, so I guess we won't be seeing any friends in a while. I feel like something's going to happen out here. <gasps> That's our little non-squirrel friends. Are they going to attack me? Let's be stealthy. Oh my god, that's no, my me. Yuck. They're like... <gasps> Are they attacking you? Should I be attacking you? Oh. 
Oh, yes, I should be. I should be attacking you. Still haven't had it somehow. Well done, that is quite the feat. <laughs> Not getting COVID. Yeah, we just didn't go out for like two years, basically. No real change, we don't really get out that much. Um, but then, yeah, I was catching up with my sister. We went op shopping for the whole day, so I was in a car with her and... Yeah. Got it. What? Okay. Um, so we have to attack the robots. I don't know, they just don't look very threatening. They kind of look like got skinny arms and they're not like scary looking robots. But clearly, clearly there's no humans around so they've probably killed us all. So yes, that's my theory. Oh! Ah, see, I think that might be like a save game point when there was that little cat that flashed up on the lower left, so that's good. Good to know if I... Those things creep me out. Um, if I die then it's fine, we won't have to go all the way back to the start, like Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> I spent maybe four hours making progress, collecting the, like, the beans and things. And then I died and I lost all my progress. <gasps> Yuck. Oh, yep. Make myself look big and scary. Run, 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 run. Uh, R2 to run. <gasps> ah, so scared. Oh, they're so gross. They sound cute, but ah, ah, no one touched me. Get off me. Oh my god, this is so intense. <laughs> Get off me. Are they like leeches? Oh my goodness. Run, 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 run. This is way too intense. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> Josh, I'm scared. Yuck, look at them on the wall. That's disgusting. <laughs> what? I just want to explore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that noise is just. Addy, now is not the time. Addy, <laughs> Josh, help! <laughs> help with Addy. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> so intense. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Haven't had COVID, but I'm a cave girl. Me too. That's why I was so shocked that I got it. Yes, we deserve a good meow after that. Meow meow. <laughs> um, Josh, come look at this mannequin. Can you guys see what I'm saying? Look at the mannequin. No, but is that a strategically placed pipe right there? What's, what's with this guy? Oh, wait. It's a bike. <laughs> I was like, wow. It's just a, it's just a bike in an unfortunate spot, though. Okay. Uh, yes, so we made it. You were stressed too, Brie? Yeah. That was so stressful, I wasn't ready for that. That was only a little bit of warning. I don't like those things. They, they were growing on the wall. Uh, there's a little frog. I think we're, are we in China? I think we're in China. There's a back home two poster, a cow and a garage. What? The light just went out. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Mm, I want to jump over that way. If you can hear that licking noise, it's not in the game. It's Addie licking her yogurt mat. Can we put her right there so she can be in shot? I'm going to move her little licking mat. 
so I can see see Addy. There she is. Oh, I realize this is totally in the way. Sorry. Oh, I'll move you. Move you down. There's quite a bit of graffiti in very difficult to reach places. I don't want to die. I don't want to have to do that again. That was terrifying. <laughs> making my heart like swell <laughs> the music huh? we're just about to have a repeat of when we lost our friends uh, noodles or dumplings that way Spe oh oh I thought I was just about to die then. I was just getting distracted and I was going to say, speaking of dumplings, if that is a dumpling sign there, um, I uploaded my very first YouTube video yesterday and we went to the city and we got dumplings and we went to the new Dimmick bookstore. So if you want to watch a very cozy vlog style video, then yeah, maybe check it out. I had so much fun editing it. It's the first video that I've edited. Ah, thank you, Josh. Look at you being that awesome mod. Mm. You were straight on that. <laughs> straight on it. Thank you, Josh. Oh. But yeah, it was the best day. And now that I edited it, I can fully remember that whole entire day, <laughs> which is awesome. Like every little detail. So that's cool and I've made it a little bit of a challenge to myself to upload one YouTube video every week for the next year and we'll see how it goes I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do and it's like fun learning how to edit it's not something I've ever done before and so I learned a lot and I'll improve on different things for next time like I definitely know it was very shaky um because we were just oh, it's a ball. we were just walking around and i was filming and i was like oh look how little i am oh oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> dribble 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 the ball okay um i think we have to go this way. The music's really starting to build suspense with that heart thumping noise. Oh. Yep, 11 October. Again. I really want to see what. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in and read. How do I zoom? Wow, the focus on that was very cool. I don't think we can read that. I need to get a better shot at a different, a different screen. Oh look, there's a sad face. <laughs> what language has a sad face in it? Thump thump. Yeah, such thumping. It's making a little, a little nervous. And the cameras, the cameras are freaking me out. Stop watching me. And they're moving. Also, that uh, robot that we helped kill. <laughs> that wasn't the one asking for help, was it? <gasps> Get in the dryer. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I'm so scared of the outside now. I'm scared of those little blob. What are those things called? Uh, they will henceforth be known as the blobbies. Oh. 
Can we jump on the string? What? Nope. Oh! Did you see that? Is this going to do something or is it just going to light them up? You know what? That's maybe why they didn't like music. And there was that no trumpet sign. Okay, I don't think it's going to do... And look, there's a radio right there. Yeah, so that's my theory. We There was a pandemic. We had to build robots to help us like lock people in and whatnot and then they got cocky and they overtook us um and their weakness is music and i don't know i don't know from there it's my theory let's see how it evolves um i'm really stuck i don't know where to go oh let's roll it over there maybe roll i think it's too heavy for me to roll if i get in it <laughs> Look at me thinking outside the box. And can we scratch? No, I wanted to scratch up the rug. Yes. Good. I thought we we're gonna get stuck there and not know where to go. Mm, beams make me nervous. That's how I. How we run again? Uh, n r n I can't remember. I think we need a run up. Oh no, there's a grate down there. All oh, good. Meow. Yes. Look how big those chairs are. Is that how big? Yeah, I guess. I was thinking maybe they were like robot chairs and that's where the robot sat. Because I don't think. Have we seen a full robot yet? They've all been missing limbs and stuff um, it's feeling very lost without my friends I don't know where to go Do you, mm, let's maybe make our way up <laughs> oh Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. No. Let's go down. I guess you can really go anywhere. There's like little, um, like interact buttons basically anywhere you go <gasps> oh no oh okay i thought it was gonna say like you took the wrong turn and now you're dead go back the other way what if i don't want to go that way I was hoping it would light up if I meowed. This place is very eerie. And then the music slightly changed and then it's like really... I don't know. Like, beautiful. And then back to eerie again. They have done a good job with their soundtrack. Um, whenever there's a, a a bit of wood, I know I need to push it down. Are you enjoying that yoga, Addy? Yes. 
Oh, you can barely even see her. Oh, you can't even. <laughs> oh, well, she's right behind me. Enjoying her froyo. That's not quite frozen. I can see how this would be a fun game to speedrun. So, yes, if you did want to check out a speedrun of it, I'm sure Lucius is very on top of that. Um, whereas I could just kind of take my sweet time taking it in and put all those satellite dishes up there. Hee <laughs> hee. That was fun. Ooh. Oh look, it's traveling. It's like it's helping me. And then there's an arrow there, so we might have to meow a bit more than what we've been doing. I feel like we haven't been meowing as much as we should. So if we ever get stuck and I don't know what to do, remind me to meow. scared again. I don't know why, I just feel like something's going to jump out at me. <laughs> I wonder how many different meows they recorded for this game. <laughs> that would have been a fun job to do. Just, oh yeah, they're making this amazing cat game. They'd have to get in a whole bunch of cats. Uh, I guess we're not going that way again. That just fell down. That's alright, we are moving up in the world. We can either go through there. Cameras are still watching me. Yeah, so usually when I'm playing a game, I'm definitely an explorer and I go and try and collect as many things as possible. Because I guess that's what I do in real life. I'm a nester, I like bringing things back. Um, like a magpie, Josh just said. Thanks. <laughs> she wants the shiny things, bring them back. Um, but this game... I don't know, I feel like maybe I'm exploring even a little less because I know I can't collect things. Unless I get a little satchel. Like, I'll pick up whatever I can, but I know I can't, like, you know, randomly stow weapons. <gasps> What's this? Oh, there's a button. Oh, look. Oh, that's terrifying. Now I'm keeping this with me. I think it wants me to drop it. But I don't want to. I want to keep it with me. <laughs> um. Oh, maybe I can't jump as far if I've got something. Oh no, I can. Excellent. Spikes. The flat. Oh yes. Oh, what? That was weird. Um, there's another picture of a cow. That's the second picture of a cow we've seen in a different building, all the way down the street. That's weird. World City International University. Uh, what's that? F. Not. Science and Technology Institute. What's that noise? Did you hear that? I swear I heard a noise. Oh, what a lovely flat this is. <laughs> you got your, your bed and you can go straight to the toilet. 
Um, let's zoom in. Oh, ow, my eyes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Got that on it. Okay, by set of eyes above. Satisfactorily completed the requirements. What uni talk that is. Satisfactorily. Not like aced it, nailed it, or anything like that. They probably did really well. Yeah, honors and dignity. Yeah. Well, cool, cool. <laughs> And another cow, what? Was the pandemic like hand, foot and mouth disease? And is that related to cows? Look at all the lights glowing. That's weird. Why are they glowing? They're not even plugged in. Hmm. Knock all the things off. Ooh. What? Okay, I think we just took a roundabout way to get in. Oh. Do we want to have the music on or do we want to have it off? we'll keep it on did we just change the channel <laughs> um... wheelie chair I don't think we're strong enough to move the wheelie chair. Addie is. Addie is strong enough to move the wheelie chair when I'm in it. Sometimes when she really wants to have a cuddle. She, oh, I said her name now. She's, she's like, you, you called? She like gets up for a cuddle and then she pushes me on the wheelie chair like out of the room. Oh yes. I don't know how that didn't fall. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Addy. That was exciting. All the books fell down. Oh, thank you, Josh. Josh is on Addy and Judy. That's your mod responsibilities. You moderate Addy. <laughs> oh, she's up again. She just leads with her tongue. She's like, Oh, I realise I'm quite bright, actually. I might turn that down. Not that I know where the little clickery thingamajig is. Oh, wait, can we turn it off and see what if that's... I think that's better. Let's leave it off. Oh, no, it's not caught up. Oh, it's not caught up. It's got a little yeah, bit of yeah. a lag. You can see it in OBS. Ah, okay. But can we turn it down? Thank you. She is poised and ready, guys. Oh, whoops. Wait, need help. They're talking to me again. Wait, what? Can I scratch this? I'm confused. There was an X before. Let, let me. Let me. <laughs> I wanna... That was anticlimactic. Hmm, what's he say? It's red. Is that the first red one we've seen? I feel like they've all not been red in colour. Need help. Jerk. <laughs> oh, guys, it's Addy. <laughs> Body required for download. Body required. Enter the door. Find a body. Um. 
We have to find the body. That's... Into the door. Turn on. Find a body. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll do it. Enter the door. As long as I don't use my body, I'm a body. They've clearly been watching me, so they have an interest. What? Um, got enough cameras in this room? What? is this and can I plug it in yes I think that's exactly what I'm supposed to do there's just a happy accident there so let's go find more of those things okay I think we have to plug them all into here. Two more. What's this? It looks like it's upside down. That's upside down. Silly robots. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no wonder cats like jumping up and no no pushing things off. It's bunting. The things you interact with do things. just have one more to... oh there's keys up there nice last one although I'm a little bit scared are they gonna steal my body <laughs> okay what's happening oh a secret bookcase door. Speaking of, Josh and I are going to build our own secret bookcase door right here on the study. I'm so excited. Um, and that'll be one of the future YouTube videos. We'll film the whole thing because that'll be really fun. And oh, I'm scared. I'm very scared. This is a scary room. Please don't steal my body. Yikes. I think this is a person that's been asking us for help. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes to the bookcase idea. Yep. It's going to be because we have quite a large opening. Like it's way too big for a regular door. It's huge. It's like. It's all the way up to the ceiling, basically. Um, and it's very, very wide. Oh, whoops, we just didn't help him at all. Drone companion. Ooh. Um, yes, and then we're gonna get like a, you can open the door uh, with a book. So we're gonna buy like a whole, well, we already have a whole heap of books. So as you can probably see from behind me, so it's just gonna be like a whole room full of books encased by another whole lot of books. That'll be the door. 
Uh, I don't know what a... What do we pick up? A drone companion. Can we plug it into someone? You see her thrashing around in the background. <laughs> oh, Addy. Amy. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I just place it in front of you, maybe? That's what Addy does. She just grabs something and then she just drops it in front. She's like a cat sometimes. She licks herself like a cat and she also um, curls up in the sun. The sunniest spot like a cat. Um, I don't know what to do. We got this down. Have we not been everywhere? I think we've been everywhere in this. What to do? Maybe I need to go back out here. Wait. Was that that little thing that we just had? That little drone thing? Let's pick that back up. Wait a minute. What? When I pick it up, then the little face goes away. On the screens. Someone's trying to tell me something. So let's pick it up. And now the face is gone. So now maybe we need to figure out where to put it. Oh! Arrows! Oh my god, I love this game. Oh! Something's happening. Oh, cute. Did we just give consciousness to a little robot? Oh, it's so cute. What oh, that B12? It reminds me of Mbot from the Skyward series. That's a little, little drone like this too. So that one has um, arms. <laughs> Such cat. Oh no, Addy scene. Addy girl. <laughs> Next A. E. It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras, a cat in the dead city. Yeah, there's a few of us. Next. Can't remember my name, it seems my memory's corrupted. <laughs> oh, Addy girl. <laughs> She's just pushing her nose into my arm like, Mum, pat me. Mum, play with me. I'm playing a different- we've already had playtime this morning, Addy. We did. Oh, Addy. <laughs> I love you. I know, there's a cat. I know, there's a cat. <laughs> she so desperately wants to play. <laughs> Addy, on your bed. On your bed. She's deliberately not listening now. Um, been trapped in an electronic network so long. Worked for a scientist who lived here. But now you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. How do they know that? It's dangerous in the dead side. You're telling me? I got attacked by a disgusting blog, blog, blobby, like, mole rat things. Uh, Seems like you know how to handle yourself. Get out of here, follow me. We made a friend, but I'm suspicious. But they did compliment me, saying I know how to handle myself, because yeah, I do. 
That key unlocks a door. I remember that much. Yeah, I found that key. I could get it myself. But... Excuse me? What? Yeah, what? Where'd you go? Where did it go? Did it... What? Was anyone paying attention? Wait, read. I can't read it. What? I don't know what you say. What does it say? I'm trying to read. <laughs> Chris said you have a perfect stream of voice. Oh, thank you, Chris. And hi, Chris. I hope you're feeling all right and you don't also have a cold. Chris, you're a gamer. What games do you play? And have you played this game? Probably not. If, if Bree hasn't played, then you probably, probably haven't either, I'm assuming. Um, open. Where did our friend go? Was anybody paying attention? <laughs> oh no. Well, in the meantime, let's just knock over this book stack. You know what? Maybe it's flat. It said something about its battery going flat. Maybe it's because the music... I decided to leave it on because I liked the music, but they don't like it, I don't think. Maybe if we turn the music off. Did that help you, little B12 friend? That was a creepy noise. What was that? All right, yes, we can meow. <laughs> I really don't know where he went. He's fine, just tired from work. Hasn't played anything in a long time. Ah, we know that life. Oh, scared me. <laughs> this came out of nowhere. I'm going to have to put this on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's what Addie does when we put little sweaters on her. I just got a stylish new outfit. <laughs> Look at me. I don't think I like it very much. I'm walking really weird. <laughs> also, it is sweater weather, so we have been putting sweaters on Addie because I didn't know this about Golden Retrievers, but they actually get two different winter coats, so... Um, sorry, my cat just, it won't do anything else aside from rub its belly on the ground. It's really freaking out. Um, so yes, Golden Retrievers get two winter coats, so just before it started getting really cold, um, she started shedding and we're like, what are you doing? It's winter. That's also what we say to Addy, by the way, like, don't worry. You'll get, you'll get used to it. Um, yes, so they get rid of their first coat to make way for their bigger, thicker, like, woollier, like, second winter coat. Oh, we have an inventory. Okay, now I guess we will be exploring more if I can actually carry things. Even just digital things. So we got keys. Can I not scroll? Examine. Oh. Um, um. Okay. <laughs> That's Cookie Punster. Hi, Cookie. What's up? I saw a cat watching this game today. <laughs> I bet they loved it. Um, Addy, our uh, doggo who just jumped up on the couch over there, has been watching and trying to play with the cats as well. <laughs> But now she's given up because she's <laughs> she's been told no too many times. So next time I play this, we're definitely gonna have 
Addy cam set up so then sh we can watch what she's doing the whole time because Josh has that in his streams. Let's get out of this flat. Oh, friendo. What? Oh, it just goes inside. Oh, <gasps> that's so cute. It's got little, well, giant eyes, really. But it's also kind of terrifying. It looks like it's got two front teeth. <laughs> Bess, how are you doing, Kiki? This is our first time playing this game. And I love it. Oh, we can read things now because of Frendo. I hope this will work. <laughs> it did not, clearly. Um, I wonder if this is what they were trying to put our little friend here in, in this body. Was our friend going to be a baddie? Um, is it a free exploration game or are there specific missions or something? There's definitely a lot of exploring, but I think there's definitely like an overarching story to follow. And I think maybe there's missions, maybe? I don't know. I, I literally know nothing about it. Deliberately so. I was, I was trying really hard to stay away from watching others play it because I wanted to play it myself and experience for the first time on stream. Um, and yeah, it was only 40, it was $40, wasn't it? Six. Yeah. yeah, $40 from Steam. Oh, we can translate things. It's an engineering degree. It belonged to the scientist I work for. Engineering, and they're a scientist. Okay. Josh, why aren't you a scientist? You did engineering at uni. I have to design very specific things. I feel like they're two very different things. Yes, they are. Like... Yeah, did engineering and now they're a scientist. I'm curious why there's so many pictures of cows everywhere. What's out with the cow? What's up with the cows? Um, you tell someone I'm an engineer and they're like, oh, you fix my computer. <laughs> um, it won't let us jump. I don't think we're allowed to go back this way. No, it's, it, it said let's get out of this flap, but I don't think it wants us to go that way. <laughs> Down the toilet. <laughs> Yuck. Oh. Oh, look at all the hard drives, Josh. Nice hard drives and cables. Josh's two favourite things. Don't know if you can hear him frothing. <laughs> He's going, oh, yeah. Hard drives. Things we can store. Hmm. Although we do need more storage space. We do, actually. I have an excessive amount of footage of Addy. Um, and we've used how much up? Josh built us a server. That's yeah. like I'm a order when it comes to online. We used 11.6 terabytes. 11.6 terabytes. Whoops. Um, I don't know where to go again. I said we have to get out. <laughs> Just kicked the head off. We've been this way. We've been in this room. I've spent so much time in this. Oh, so cute. If our little new friend could help and let us know where to go. Where else is there? There's also pictures of, I don't know, some very tropical looking place. I wonder if this does anything different. No. Just does the same thing. That's what we need from here to the kitchen with food on it. Um, oh, by the way, going to the zoo tomorrow. Ah, I love the zoo. I love my... F okay. Everyone in chat, what is your favourite animal to see at the zoo and can you guess mine josh said the goannas wait is that your favorite that's not my favorite you know that's not my favorite i've been chased by a goanna in the wild before and they are bigger than you think like picture a goanna right now and then when you see one in real life it's like 
10 times the size of that and I was chased by a goanna on an island. A picture of goanna. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, sloth, yes. That is, that is a good, good guess. Do we have sloths at Oz? I don't think we have sloths at Adelaide Zoo or Monato or anywhere. But yes, I would love to see sloths. I don't think we have them though. Why can't I remember? Um, but yes, so my favorite, my favorite to see um, in our zoos that we have near us. Oh, maybe we can do this. Ah, okay, we found a way. Um, are the otters, the little otters, they make the cutest noises. Brie, if there were sloths at the Adelaide one, we, we would have already seen them, you and I, together. I think we have to go to Costa Rica, where they have the sloth sanctuary. I don't think there's sloths in many zoos, actually. Take too long to get there. <laughs> Josh just said they take too long to get there. They don't walk themselves into the zoo. <laughs> How um, quite, quite right. Also, do let me know if you can hear Josh when he's like wrapping in with his sus over there. Spouting nonsense. Spouting nonsense, he just said. So yes, let me know. <laughs> I'd be there all the time. Yeah, we just, we just set up, get some coffees, be there most days. Oh, what? I'm so scared. What? Why is it so dark? Where am I even going? What is this? I need a torch. It's too black. What? There's a piano. <laughs> it's awfully dark in here. Surely our little drone friend would have would have some sort of torch. <laughs> oh, Suki, I love your hair and I love the nonsense. Thank you. I washed it. <laughs> I washed it last night and then I blow dried it, which I never used to do. I always used to just wash my hair and then fall asleep on it. And it was always very, very flat and not not so good um but lately i've been doing this thing where i, I like i wash it oh no i don't know what code guys <gasps> did you see a code <laughs> mm. use digicode i didn't pay any attention to any code josh did you see a code I no because you're not watching Oh, press that to use the torchlight. There we go, that's better. Um, but yes, so I've been blow drying my hair and then I've been getting like a like a tie from a bathrobe and then just like wrapping my hair in it and then falling asleep. And it's like not annoying to sleep on or anything because it's so soft. And then it makes it all nice and wavy. So then I don't have to curl it with heat, so that's nice. Um, oh, wait, is that a code? Code, yes it is. We found that surprising. Okay, so it's uh, 3748. Yes, meow. 3748. Three. Wait, how do we enter? 3748. Awesome. <laughs> Yes, we can. Yay. Costa Rica Sloth Sanctuary it is. What? What's with the stars? Why don't we notice? Is that... Are they stars? Elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. Need to go up. What? That is so strange. Um, are we even on Earth? Why are the stars like this? So many questions. Oh, oh, bucket swing, bucket swing. 
Ah, look at me with my little jacket. Oh, oh. <gasps> Yuck. That's like... Ooh. It's like something out of The Last of Us there with all the... The gross growth on the... Well, yeah, there's where the blobbies come from. What? How am I going to get back across? My bucket's leaving. Can you hear that? Oh, oh no, I can hear them. I can hear them. I go into the zoo with a bunch of others on a field trip. That sounds so good. I really do love the zoo. Yep, otters number one, my most favourite to see. They're so playful and they make little squeaking noises. Um, then oh, my second favourite. I love watching giraffes. And I love watching people feed the giraffes with their long tongues. I really want to do that. Oh, is this where you came from? Yeah, there's heaps of pictures like that. I promised someone I would go there. I promised who? Your um, scientist slash engineer person. I think... Listen to the music. I think this is uh, Frendo. That built a little friend of her. Oh, new memory recovered. That's cool. 3%. Cool. So I guess we have to piece together where B12's owner or like builder is. Uh, Maybe we have to go here <laughs> to the Bahamas. Also, oh, just speaking of The Last of Us, if anyone hasn't played that, it's the most incredible game ever. And I have binge watched, I think, maybe 50 different people um, like experience it and play it for the first time. I love it that much. And oh, that's why I was thinking of it, because there's a scene in the second Last of Us, which I I'm not a fan of the second one. Um, yeah, where well, there's basically this scene where there's a boat and the ocean, and if you've played it, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. Because it was traumatic. The whole second Last of Us was traumatic, to be honest. But the first one, the first one, amazing. And speaking of zoos and giraffes and things, there is the most incredible scene with a giraffe, with a few giraffes. Epic. Gave me chills. Made me cry a little bit. <laughs> um, time to move forward. Only going because there's no electricity tomorrow, so I can't work. Oh, no electricity. Yeah, Josh and I would not be able to work either if there was no electricity. What a fun way to spend a no work day, going, um, going to the zoo. I don't know why we went over this side. I feel like it's a dead end. Let's go back over. What? I'm. How do I? Ah, uh, I have to think like a cat. I'm small and I'm flexible and I can jump anywhere. <laughs> Poised and ready to jump. How terrifying yeah, amazing was that scene, by the way, just going over in that bucket swing, the flying fox one. It was a little jittery, though. I've noticed that a few times. It did, like, detract from 
Oh no. Oh, another bucket's waiting. Okay, we'll hope. Oh. Let's translate this. Safe zone. It doesn't look very safe. Look at them all down there. Yuck. Oh. oh! It just threw itself at me. Run away! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get away, get away. I died. Okay, we've got our first death in the game. Let's, can we let's... Oh, you, oh, get off me! I can't even... I was going to look around and see where we could go next time, but I just... They were attacking me. Are you in an apocalypse? Yes. Um, there's robots. I, my theory is that there was a pandemic. And we got very reliant on robots that we probably built. Either we built them or they invaded us. Um, and I'm pretty sure they don't like music. I think maybe that's their weakness. The lights kind of uh, like react to our sounds. And <gasps> Where do I go? Guys, where? Oh, you know what? I was pressing the wrong button to attack to get them off last time. Where do I go? I'm so scared. Jump, jump. Oh, yuck. Get off me. That's so distressing. <laughs> That's really distressing. I'd rather have like a zombie attack me than these bobby things. GG, yeah. Um, maybe let's, is there a way we can attack them? Also, why is our B12 guy not helping us? What's the point of him if he can't help us? Get better over time, yes. <laughs> we will get better over time. I just don't know where to go. And it says safe. Let's have a look. Okay. Keep our eyes filled. Where can we go? Can I just stay here? Oh god, they're all coming. They're all coming. Can they? Bad mistake. Mistake. Get off me. Where do we go? Help. 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 <gasps> oh, I thought it was a person. But it's a, it's a robot. We've not seen a robot. Okay. Well, we made it. Seven lives left. Yeah, imagine if that was... <gasps> imagine if that was the whole game where you literally only get nine lives. I thought he had seen me. Sorry, I just stopped talking because I thought the robot had seen me. Is anyone else scared that the robot's going to... I find him really scary. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> what, are you, what have you done? Alert the authorities. <laughs> Look at me trotting. I know when I jump. I need to follow him. I need to find him. Oh! There's more of them. Okay, I guess we don't need to find that exact one then. <gasps> Hello. Yes. Oh, I thought we went in his house. Pete! Oh, oh no, I've alerted Addie. <laughs> Pete's here, Addie. <laughs> she just jumped off the couch. Flew down. <gasps> oh, how are you doing, Pete? We're doing amazing. We're playing Stray for the very first time, and it's incredible. Well, look at me. I got a little jacket. I got a little robot friend, and we just met robots for the very first time. Uh... <laughs> Good that you're good. I think 
This guy's going to attack us. Hello. Oh. Smiley face. Alright. That's so creepy. I'm meowing at him. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Oh no, Addy girl. I know. She loves seeing the chat up on screen. <laughs> And she's also, I think, a little offended that I'm playing. <laughs> Down you get! Down you get! Down you get! Um, they seem to have their own language. So B12. B12 is our little friend, Pete, that we just made. Well, a scientist made him. Oh, Guardian, you're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. Oh, you're welcome in our village. As long as you don't eat anyone. Okay, so maybe the pandemic uh, sign that we saw. Maybe humans evolved into like zombie things that ate themselves and they called them zergs. <laughs> Everyone's playing this. Maybe I'll buy it too. Yes. I, it only came out last week and I was hooked as soon as I saw the trailers. And it is so much fun. It is the most fun to play. I haven't felt like this since since The Last of Us, I think. Although, I've been playing Days Gone and that's also really fun. But this is so unexpected. Oh look, they're all scared of me. A little suit on. Okay, I'm not as scared of the robots anymore now that they've welcomed me into their home you're no zerg as long as you don't eat anyone yeah that says a lot and is welcome oh look there's a picture of um is he holding hands with a human look at them with their little blankets on them okay i thought they were the baddies in this but i think actually the humans were the baddies Look lost. What do you need? Show item? Show item. Oh, we can show him the postcard. Yes, we need to get our memories for B12. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. That's mean. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. Oh. They're all gone now, except Momo. Who is Momo? Morgan from The Walking Dead. <laughs> mm. You might be a, a flurrican. <laughs> um. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. Oh, and by the way, Pete, it's $40 from Steam. If that helps inform your decision making, if you did want to. Did want to. Um, he lives high in the sky in that building with the orange neon sign. But if not, you're always welcome to watch, watch me play. I think that's one of the best things about Twitch is yeah if you're like not sure if you want to play a game you can always watch someone else play it and then if it calls to you then then you can like spend monies and then and then buy it so that's cool that's how I found um, playing Days Gone oh, I guess he's nice okay so we have to go talk to Momo in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. <laughs> Wait, Google Mono. <laughs> I'm not going to Google that. <gasps> Whenever someone tells you, tells you to like Google something, you don't, you don't Google it. So I know I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Brie. <laughs> Sorry in advance. Mono. Isn't that some sort of disease or infection or something? 
Would it be really rude if I scuffed up their rug? I am a cat, so that's, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> no one's telling me no. <laughs> that's usually Addie's approach, no one's telling me no, so. <laughs> Meow. Gave us such a fright, we thought you were a zerk. Mm. You watch the Walking Dead universe? I do. I'm actually obsessed with uh, all things like apocalyptic, <laughs> dystopian, zombies. and zombies. They're all, yeah, I don't know. I don't like, I don't know, horror and like true crime shows terrify me, especially ones like based on real events. But yeah, I don't know. Something about zombies. Yep. Talk with Juris, that's who we just chatted to, wasn't it? Yes. Oh wait, maybe I can show them the item. Let's show them the postcard. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> show it again. Well, you're no help. Um, let's... Oh, we can't meet this one. Look how cute they are. They're snoozing. we got little plants. And... Clocks. Maybe if I meow. <gasps> oh look, they're sweating. Did you see that? Look at look at um this big one here, the middle one. Look at oh, eh, excuse me. Look at this one's face, ready? They start sweating. They don't like it. They're scared. <gasps> oh wait, Momo. Uh, all right, so you're not Google, Google Momo. No, I'm, I, well now I literally have no idea what that is. I thought maybe you were trying to get me to Google like mono, like the infection, but Momo. Josh, are you Googling it? <laughs> yes, Josh will Google it. Oh, we made another one, Ronan. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, Ronan, but um, you're a little bit of a downer. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. Um, <laughs> Ronan's not our bestie. Ah. Right, so, okay, I thought it was like, I know the guy we have to find, his name is Momo, but I thought you were meaning there was like an, a different thing. Called that, why I go up there, there's nothing up there. Should I just keep showing everyone my picture? How cute is that? Like, hi everyone, look at my picture. I think Momo has some pictures just like this, did you show it to him? Imagine if Momo got, nah. If Momo was our person, he'd come back for us. Ew. Okay, the last one. Oh, please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Some are mean. Oh look, they get a little cat thing. So do we think Momo's... Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Kaze, I'm stuck. No, I'm stuck. I can't... Help! Josh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the game. <laughs> Guys, I'm stuck in the game. I can't. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm glitching out. I can't. Maybe this will help. And an out. Back away, back away. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, Bree says, do it, Josh. She says, okay, and, and Cookie, sorry, I'm catching up on chat. Um, I love zombie and apocalyptic stuff too. Yeah, there's just something about, I don't know. I don't know, but like there's, there's some very like horrible things that happen on Walking Dead, but I don't know. I think it's a survival aspect. People just keep, keep on keeping on, and I find that just fascinating. 
um by the way loved your youtube video thank you so much pete um i'm just gonna reload last checkpoint six minutes we're gonna have to do that because we're stuck sorry kind of very canadian them thank you so much for liking my video and your comment thank you so much pete that was so sweet um yes anyone who missed it i uploaded my very first youtube video yesterday we went and got dumplings and yeah went to the city and it was just just such a beautiful day and i recorded it all and we just yeah uploaded it yesterday <laughs> yes so i'm i'm yet to reply to your your message on on youtube but i did see it. it was like one of the first things i saw when i woke up this morning so thank you so much pete for being so supportive um did we show him the picture what do you need oh yeah we'll show him the picture again and we won't get stuck in that spot yep yep we'll just skip through this because we've already read um we'll just meow <laughs> I'll just meet one of them. Uh, oh, there's a creepy girl. Oh no. <laughs> when we find Momo, is there? <laughs> oh, and thank you for clipping it in. Thank you, Josh. Oh, look. Someone's doing the gardening. I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. Oh. Add a bit of water and look how big they get. It's really amazing technology. This guy's my favorite. Check out his bucket hat. <laughs> mm. I'll show you my item because you might not be mean like the other ones. Oh, everyone's just like, nah, why bother? Cause the mission yeah so i think that's momo i bet that's momo up there uh oh and pete says hello hello pete but it's a very very sweet comment thank you and i'm so glad you liked it such like cozy happy vibes which like that i love watching those kind of videos so i thought i'll, I'll make one um, our long one ancestors, the soft ones. <laughs> the soft ones. Um, left us the city. Our home is their legacy. Oh, I think they did like the humans. Mm. I've heard there's glitches in game. You can even fall through the map. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yep. Well, we'll keep out, keep an eye out for glitches. So if I kind of can't progress and it's in a not obvious glitch state like before, then then I'll try and think maybe it's just a glitch. <laughs> mm, looking forward to the end of season eleven. Yeah, me too. And I'm so looking forward to the Rick Grimes. Uh, like they're not doing a movie any they were gonna do a, a movie but they're not doing that anymore apparently apparently they're doing a another series that's what I, I read anyway for the walking dead <gasps> what were you doing what's he doing oh look he's gonna throw some paint to him that's cool I'm gonna knock some of those paints down. <laughs> do you think they'll get mad at me if I knock the paints down? Let's do it. Oh, we can't. They've stacked them up too much. Please don't bother. She's so clumsy. <laughs> Mito, they all have names. Um, also, I could push the paint down before. Maybe these are heavier ones. Oh, that was weird. Um, I guess that is the thing with playing brand new games is there's probably going to be some glitches and there's so much detail to this game but I am noticing 
they kind of just like placing <laughs> placing down some paint there and then it just disappears um, let's go find Momo need to catch up on The Walking Dead uh, what do you watch it on uh, so <laughs> my parents have Foxtel so I've just logged into their account and I just watch it on their account we're not paying for Foxtel. <laughs> yeah, Foxtel's. It's not one that I would pay. It's so expensive. Like, crazy expensive. So, yeah, I just... Um, we have Netflix and... Stan no, we have Netflix and Prime. So, we pay for that. And then Mum and Dad, they log into ours. And then we use their... Their Foxtel... Yeah, anyway, we've got some like little arrangement where we like log into the other ones because you get so many accounts that you can do that with. I don't know where to go. Nope, can't jump there. Wait. I love these swings. It's like they were designed for me. Oh look, they're laughing over a bonfire. I'm just taking in all the, like, I don't know, look at the detail of the the aircon units with the little flaps coming out of them so you can see what ones are on and oh, there's a bowl over there. I think when I jump too far my cat meows loudly. I think we'll go over there in a second, I just want to go say hi to these people. Uh, okay, so, mm, cookie. So, <laughs> our Australian Netflix doesn't have The Walking Dead, which is very disappointing. But I think in America you do, um, on your Netflix or um, elsewhere in the world, like Caribbean and yeah, they all have like different licensing. So, I wish we had it on Netflix, but unless they changed it in the last little bit, I don't think we do. Which is annoying. And they always, like, they just took off um, How I Met Your Mother as well from Netflix. Because that's where Josh and I would always watch it. How I Met Your Mother. Hmm. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah, we don't get AMC Plus here in, in Australia. I guess I can't say good hello to them. Chroma Green. Okay, plants grow in the dark. Oh, that's what the robot friend was talking about, how the humans got good. Um, you don't need the sun to enjoy nature. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that's something that's come out of uh, COVID times as well. Like growing plants without the sun. Okay, we're making our way up in the world. Let's. <laughs> Josh just started singing. Making our way downtown. <laughs> That's very impressive that they're not growing in the dark. Wait. I don't think it's been daytime. The whole time we've been playing, I don't think it's. Has it been daytime at all? Where are we supposed to go? I have no idea, Pete. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, remember? Oh, you kind of just have to wander around, and it somewhat helps you out. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class mm -hmm. yep yeah back then a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there apparently robots also copied this behavior well we just unlocked another memory um but yes so pete we have to find a person called momo apparently they might give us some hints as to why our little robot friend who's named b 12 and gave me this little jacket 
why I don't know or where they are and just answers we're looking for answers and we don't remember a lot apparently because we were we were a robot I think and then we got uploaded with the help of our like ourselves with a cat um yeah we help them remember things when we put their body together we had to plug in a bunch of stuff and turn them on uh, I don't know where to go <laughs> what? what was that? I saw a little interact button I was, oh that was weird <laughs> oh please don't tell me what okay I thought we were stuck up there for a minute oh you can get 11 seasons on Plex okay awesome <laughs> Um, alright, yeah, different places have different content. Yeah, it's annoying. The amount of times I see, like, ads for things on Netflix and I get so excited and then it turns out it's not for Australian Netflix. <laughs> Grr. But that's very cool to hear that it's on Plex. I googled a while ago. Can I not jump? I'm gonna go say hi to them. Mm, where to go guys up there oh look let's knock everything off can we turn this on for using your little Addy Hyper modes, Pete. <laughs> I love seeing them used. Apparently you can um, see how many times they're used like across everywhere, which is cool. It's got like a little counter and the Addy Hype one is the one that is used the most. Oh, take sheet music. Addy's just settled into a bed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do a little explore, see if we can get any more clues. Oh, Addie's seen the cat. She has seen the cat. <laughs> Beauty. I keep forgetting that I have my tea here. Oh, she keeps just pushing her nose into me. She wants to play. Not with me, she wants to play with the cat on the screen. Don't you, Addie? <laughs> more books you can also buy episodes or seasons on microsoft movies and tv oh hold on addy addy girl <laughs> we're gonna have to have a counter for every time addy jumps up we'd be at like 50 i swear Ooh, we found a notebook hey clementine's notebook Ah, Mike! <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. So realistic. The can is knocking stuff off shelves. The, right, the cat is knocking things off. Yes, I know. And you can, like, walk into cans of rubbish on the ground and they move. Which is very cool. But yeah, thanks for being here, Mike. Oh, this game setting gives Japan vibes. Is it actually set in Japan? I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure where it's set. I'm trying to get some more clues from around the place to see exactly where we were. And I didn't do Japanese at school, but Josh did. Yeah, and Josh, Josh, like... I don't know if they can hear you from over there. Uh, they might be able to, I did it for like, I don't know, 10 years ago. That's some great schooling you got there. 10 years and he doesn't remember anything. Yeah, they basically go through each year and just teach you like the basics over and over again. So you don't actually learn too much. It's only until like, year 11 or stuff we actually start like learning stuff. you guys should let me know if you can hear josh talking because i i don't know if you can <laughs> i want to add his add his hair in my mouth for some reason <laughs> okay don't know what this means but it'll probably be useful for later 
definitely go see that Momo person who a guardian told us about. I love how they all have different names, all the different robots. Okie dokie. And there's more pictures. And another cow picture. What? How many cow pictures have we seen now? Are these robots just obsessed with cows? Are they the ones putting the pictures up? Because every apartment we have been to has had a different picture of a different cow. <laughs> yep, we can hear him. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> he just chuckled. Wait, I don't have to say that. If you heard him chuckle. It was a very quiet chuckle though. I don't know how I feel about that. You could derail the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't remote into my computer. Oh look, there's pictures of them all up there. We saw that one, the one with a little bow tie. He was cute. Um, I heard something like this game is the highest rated game on stream. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. It's, it's had a few little glitches, like I got stuck before Mike, I got stuck, it was a good move, so I had to restart the checkpoint. So it only came out last week, so there's a few little kinks that I think they need to work out, but oh, compared to everything else, they're so minor. I love it, I love everything about it, and when you meow, like, that was a weird way to say it, when you meow there's like the lights interact with you, like string lights and things, so it's good they're giving you like just a little little like clues from exploring the world with what's happened. I haven't really updated my oh <laughs> that was weird. I haven't really updated my theory as to what happened here. Oh my god, we're back here. What? Oh we can go this way. Okay, see, I thought we had to go somewhat in this direction. Let's... I don't really know where we're going. Well, that's half the fun of it. How are you liking it? I love it. Oh, yeah, question answered. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's... It's such a beautiful game. It's tricky though, we lost our friends. We had, when we started, we had cat friends and they would just, they'd go ahead of me and kind of tell me where to go. Now I don't know where to go and I keep getting lost. Oh, down there, okay. And I'm already like a very big explorer. Oh, translate something. When I play games, so. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my cat. Uh, okay. It's good, it's translating things for us. Now we can actually read what the signs are. Oh, and there's um, horrible, horrible little like growth blob things that attack you. And it's a really gruesome death, which I wasn't expecting. Like, I'd rather die from zombies than having my eyeballs, like, ripped out than die from those blob things. Huh? What? We can open doors. Oh. <laughs> nope. He just opened it for us. Hi. Thank you for letting me in. Oh, no. <laughs> that was terrifying. Just shuts the door behind me. Oh, it's Harley Quinn! Hi, Harley Quinn! Hello! Uh, how's it going? We're going, going really, really well. Playing Stray for the first time. Uh, this looks brighter than when Audrey was playing it. Oh. Yeah, it might be different settings, maybe. Um, my screen is pretty bright, which is why we stay up till 3.30 in the morning, Josh. We yeah. stayed up till 3.30 in the morning the other, like, not last night, but the night before. Uh, we were programmed to be slaves, but since blah 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 days, we have a soul. Hopefully one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Momo. 
Momo was here, guys. I love... Ugh, I love this game. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, and there's a picture of... I think Momo's leaving clues. No, our friendo is leaving clues. Because there's another picture right there. Like the one we're carrying around to show to people. Um, how's Addy? She's doing well. She... Y you've missed it, but she has been going bonkers repeatedly from seeing the cats on screen because she just wants to oh I can show him my item um she just wants to play with them so she's knocked the mic and she, I had to move the keyboard because she was typing on the keyboard <laughs> um yeah everyone's very like negative about us going to the outside apparently I think because people have died trying to get to get there so they've just accepted that this is this is it seems like a weird spot for us to be able to jump <laughs> that's the thing like you can jump anywhere in this game and they don't like music well I thought the robots didn't like music but he's not he's not reacting when I'm playing on the keyboard so maybe Uh, maybe it's the blob things. Maybe they don't like music. <gasps> Are they the Zerg? Maybe they grow into what is called the Zerg. Because they thought I was a Zerg. Whatever a Zerg is. They're clearly the baddies. And I thought the robots were the baddies, but they're not. They're so nice. Most of them anyway. Mm, let's knock, knock some of his stuff off. <laughs> and they don't mind which is which is cool <laughs> um, would you pay 120 for this game yep I would I would if it was 120 they haven't upped the price have they I don't think so they might be like the special edition mm. this was one of Audrey's favourite part the piano yes I've actually found quite a few pianos before um uh, is this our third piano we found? <laughs> it's very fun. First time we found a piano. We played on it a lot more than that. <laughs> but yeah, there was a sign up when we first uh, entered like this kind of area and it said... Oh, there was like a symbol of music and there was a cross through it. Like, don't play music here. Oh, hi. Are you okay? You don't look okay. This is <laughs> just reminded me of when I walk into the study and Josh is doing the exact same thing, yeah. just like sitting at the computer, being there for hours and hours. I'm like, are you okay? Yes. Can I get you anything? Do you need some water? <laughs> water, food. Elliot. Oh, let's show him our picture. What's that? A beach? I never heard of that in my whole life. Look, he's made himself a little seat. That's so cute. Um, I assume Audrey didn't like those horrible blob things that attack you. <laughs> I was, I was sweating. I was freaking out. I didn't, I didn't like that. And I died like three times from them. I like scratching things, and the it vibrates at the exact same time you scratch, which is really cool. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I wish they didn't like disappear. I'm gonna leave my mark everywhere. Are they disappearing? No, okay, they stay there. That's fine. Oh, what? And all the little like music boxes everywhere. So cool. 
so cool. Uh, she, no, she did not. It was distressing. It's my least favorite part. Remember. <gasps> Time for another memory. Uh, $40 in the US will feel like at least 120 for me due to the difference in salaries. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Would I? I still would. I think I still would. <laughs> but yes, that is quite a difference there. Mm. And I think forty dollars is more than. Oh no, that's it's like U.S. I mean Australian forty dollars, isn't yeah. it? So I'm not entirely sure what it is in the U.S. Uh, create plants that thrive without sunlight. Yes, very cool. <laughs> Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. So yes, with the pandemic in this storyline, the humans modified the plants so they don't need sunlight. The robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. Is what the humans would have wanted. Okay, so I had that sussed out wrong. I thought the robots were bad, and I thought maybe we had created them, and then they overtook. Again, this game's just very unpredictable, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a flower growing out of the toilet. Oh, most oh oh look, it's moving. Yes. Is it daytime? <gasps> That's the elevator they've been talking about. Did anyone else see that? Because I could never tell what they were actually talking about. Because I'd never actually seen it. Uh, let's just make sure we haven't missed anything. I don't think we have. Uh, gotta save my dinner room. Yeah, gotta save some money as well. Yep. Yes. Yes, Josh and I are now self-employed, so we... <laughs> we definitely know that life of needing to make, like, good decisions. So, I mentioned it before, but that's why I love Twitch so much when it comes to, to games. Like... You don't even have to buy a game, really. You can watch someone else play it. Experience. And you can still experience it without missing out. Ah, oh, that's where we were. <laughs> Usually it kind of doesn't let you go back the way you came. But maybe that was just the... <gasps> scared me. <laughs> oh, look, has he been working out? He's come back from the gym. Um, what way to go? There's so many... Wait a minute. That's the sign we saw. We just did a massive loop through that person's house, didn't we? Mm-hmm. We did. And we saw these people. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Very stylish, Corey. A blue sky. That would be so weird. Mm, okay. So I don't think it... We can show them everything. We can show them some sheet music. I don't play an instrument, sorry. That's so cool. Um, okay. What else can we show them? What else do we have? Um, sheet music. We have a notebook we could show them. Oh yes, everyone around here knows a symbol. It's the outsiders. Wouldn't be surprised if they made this into a movie. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. I'm sure they're already talking about it. Apparently it's just smashing, like, all the charts. And I can see why. Uh, so they live in the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Awesome. And I think we had one more thing that we might be able to show them. Sheet music, notebook, ah, just more sheet music. Who's this grandma person? Grandma clothing. Are you grandma? What is? I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. That's, that's like my nan. 
<laughs> um, my grandmother made oh, a huge amount of like blankets for her, her church. Made just, I don't know, hundreds, probably thousands. She was always, always, always knitting. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me. But it's not easy to find the right materials. Electric cable. I would like an electric cable poncho. Yes, please. I feel like we saw some before. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the love heart on her face? I'll do it again. Can I get a double order of ponchos? Mm, need to save some money for important stuff, but I mean, I might have to save some for this game too. It's really good. Seems interesting. Yeah. I just, I don't know what's going to happen next. And that's a really exciting feeling. I, it's just so unexpected and unpredictable. And yeah, I, I had it picked wrong. Which I like, because I feel like I'm very good at guessing what's going to happen in like TV shows and things. So I get bored kind of easily when it just works out exactly as I guessed it. Like if something's like very, very predictable. If you sit down and you watch a movie and you're like, I know exactly how this is going to go. Um, then it kind of takes away the fun of it because you're like, yep, that was very predictable. Um... Um, so Rosie, so if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. <laughs> we don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Wow, that's a... I feel like everything they say is profound. And I also like how they call us the soft ones, the soft ancestors. I'll just wait until part two comes out if there's even a second one coming out. Is there a part two? Oh, I didn't know that. That is news to me. That's how little I know about this game. Wait, ask grandma if she has punches. Grandma always have food. <laughs> are these robots? Yes. Yes, they are robots. And I, I thought that they had invaded us. And then I thought maybe they had, like, we had made them in the pandemic times, but... No, they're, they're like, they love us. They love the humans. They call us the soft ones. <gasps> Vending machine. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yes! <gasps> Energy drink! Oh yeah, I can go s oh, just go straight to my death. I can be extra speedy now. I wonder how long it lasts for. Well, that was a bit fast. Uh, what, what did it say? Looking for... It went too fast, I can't even read it. Oh, okay. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. Remuneration is two pints of cyber uh, oil per day. Contact the guardian. Oh, so if we want a little bit of monies, we could do a job. So I guess there are little quests. Oh, I don't know if there's part two. It was just saying I'd probably wait for a sequel to buy this one. Uh, but with the way this game is doing, there might be another one. Mmm. Yes, I think they would have made quite a bit of money already just from how well this is going. So I think they're probably already talking about number two. I don't know if it's like a planned standalone game. I actually have no idea. We found the ball finally. I don't want to knock it off. Do I? I want to. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was going to scare the robot. Hmm, where do we want to go? Okay, so we're on this side now of those robots. Oh, 
Oh, but we might be able to push the chair off. Maybe that'll scare him. Yeah. Where'd it go? I don't know. Um, is the cat a normal cat or a mutant? It's just a normal cat. Yeah, it's just a normal cat. We started with our friendos. We had three other cats that were part of our little cat tribe. And then I fell. I fell a very long way down, like, I don't know, a ravine type area and landed all the way down in the sewer. So I lost my cat friends and then found our way closer to this side of town, which I don't think my cat friend, uh, my cat character has been in before. And I guess we've kind of forgotten about our cat friends and we saw all Ooh, like the signs and everything saying like help me help me like there was signs lighting up and then it showed us the way to this little robot in our back um who needed some help being plugged in and downloaded so they could be a little droid so yeah just a regular cat but we've got a robot little friend um that they need to piece things together so we're helping our robot friend on our back <laughs> a true cat would knock it off yes <laughs> Okay. These circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Uh, let's show this person something. I can show them a picture of the sky. The outside Momo told me he'd get me there one day. I feel like a lot of people seem a little disappointed with this Momo person. Like he promised them things and now he's not delivering. Now do we want to go that way? It's hard, I never know where to go. And there's no health bar either. If like if you've noticed that there's no health bar so it's either you're alive or you jump a little too far and you die. Yes. <laughs> is the sky polluted? Oh yes, so this is the sky. I don't know what's going on with it. I think people, from what I've pieced together, this is like the wasteland kind of area. There's like pollution and like these horrible awful blob things that attack you and kill you. So humans as well as robots wanted to move their way up into the sky so there's an elevator right here i think that's the elevator um and it would take you up there but this one's broken so they're all kind of trapped here and they have been for like 400 ish years i think and i think our quest is going to be we have to figure out a way to get it working again maybe if we meet momo he'll tell us more look i'm stretching But yeah, I thought it was stars to begin with, but no, I think there's some sort of like giant ship. Maybe it's like the underbelly of a ship, maybe? And people wanted to move up there. So maybe there's people living up there now. Um, maybe they'll make a stray dog one. Yes, I was saying when I first started that I wish, I did wish that there was an option to be like a little dog but then I was thinking the places we've been and the things we've done I don't know if a dog would have the dexterity to to do what this little cat has done Josh named it Bingles yeah Hepta oh hey it's you you look weird and small but there's something about you is that what you thought when you saw first met me Josh <laughs> He didn't hear. That's probably good. A dog one would be interesting, yes. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. You can pet me. I'll show you a I'll show you a nice picture and you might The surface? Oh, it's a sensitive subject around here. Mm. There are some whose code can understand that concept. 
There are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything. Yes, we've met a lot of a lot of resigned robots that are like, why even bother? No, nah, why you wanna go there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, lol. Uh, Bingles is the cat's name. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it was legitimately the cat's name. <laughs> it is our cat's name, because Josh named it that. Um, Audrey called him Sam. That's cute. Oh, Addy. She's sulking. She's sulking because she can't play. Yeah. Um, okay. And then there's the outsider. So I don't think we've met any of the outsiders yet. No, we definitely haven't. Um, you can imagine how they feel. Well, there is only Momo now. Only Momo. Now, can we rub up against you like we did with that grandma lady? Maybe they'll find it entertaining if I scratch up their couch. <laughs> look how cute I am. I'm scratching up your... Is his face changing? Look at his hair. He's got eyebrows and stuff. I love how they all have different... Different faces and names and personalities for all the different robots. They're not just like random NPCs. Um, dang, I thought I'd be able to go through there. Oh, I, I always forget how far we can actually jump as a cat. <gasps> Bucket swing! Whee! Bar. Oh, wait. This looks familiar. We've been here, haven't we? Yep. Because <laughs> that's the way to grandma. Now, did someone say about asking her for food? Oh. Oh, oh! He tripped on me. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Whoa, what's. Cables? Has he got a beard of cables? Maybe he'll give me his cables so then grandma can make me a, a sweater or a poncho, I think she said. <laughs> I like grandma. Uh, so we have been this way. Let's just see what we didn't go this way. Look at my cute little trots. And did we go up there? The real life cat's name they base off is his actual name is Oscar. Ah. <laughs> That's a cute name for a cat. Oscar the cat. Although I really like Bingles. You're very good at naming things, Josh. Oh, we've got another memory. If the cat had a recent human owner, it means there were humans living alongside the robots, unless the cat is just. 400. So I think the cats just survived and the humans all just died off. I think probably from some sort of disease like um, from the blobs that we saw. Humans were the first residents around here it seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? Hitting with the hard questions there. Ooh, so many philosophical questions. Um, I know it's silly coming from me, but what? Like, are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to break the mood. Let's move on. Wow. Our little droid here is a thinker. Got me thinking. Yeah, there's a thing that says, rip humans. Well, rest in peace, humans. So either we go that way, or maybe we go this way. 
I really want to find some cables. If you do see some cables, don't let me not get them because I would like a poncho. <laughs> Um, and the cat's name in the game apparently is M M Mota Oscar would have been better or Bingles or Sam yes my votes for Bingles I think that's adorable actually that that's a very good question that I could ask on Twitter like what did you name your cat on stray when it when we're on the speedy juice I can't read anything uh, oh, I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar and add some ambience. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Morsk. We have some sheet music. That's where we're going. Let's go back to the... Well, not back to. We've never been to the elevator. Let's go find. Mm, is this the room we went into? That robot's name is either Phil or Sophie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Hmm, me. That might have been me. That might. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it wasn't me. I feel like we did that in a different spot. I don't think they're gonna let me in. That's rude. Other person just let me straight in. Hello. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, if we get a little bit higher. Meow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, look, he's mad. Sounds like a detective name. Maybe that's where they got it from, Lethal Weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, have you seen Lethal, Lethal Weapon? I don't think I've seen it. Yes, I don't think I've actually seen it. Okay. So we've been here, but now their door is open, so maybe we can go down and... I don't know. See if we can sneak it. Nope. Go down. Don't you get... We can run into the house, because they're clearly... <laughs> I just leave footprints. Let's do that. Let's get our footprints. Oh. Don't be mad. <laughs> this one's, they've got different noises as well. Cosmo. Yes. Paint footprints. Yes. Oh, like two. Oh, well, there'll be a nice memory for him every time he looks at his little rug. Classic movies, they even made it into a show which was pretty good. Oh. Cool. Oh look, this guy lives in a laundry mat. Oh, I thought they were cat toys. They are. Are they not cat toys? The one thing we can't interact with. Oh wait, maybe they're like laundry bowl things. Hmm, what to do? Hmm, I wanted to get in here so bad, but I feel like there's not much in here. <laughs> oh, listen to my cute little footprints. Not as good as Addy's little footprints on the the wooden floor. Like the best noise ever. Um Well that was 
not as exciting as I thought. I really wanted him um, to let me in, but I don't think there is anything in here. Nope. And I already know we can't get in a dryer, because I've already tried when we saw another dryer. Oh, I'll just mess some things up and then we'll leave. Wait. Oh, super spirit detergent. Oh, we can take things. I don't know what for, but we just stole this guy's stuff. <laughs> We're such a rascal. Smashing everything. Alright. Mm, Bardeman, Laundry, Grandma, we've been to Grandma's, and we've been to Elliot. Okay. Uh, did you stream The Last of Us? No. So I, I'm still pretty new to streaming on Twitch. Only really, what's it been? Since May? Josh says March. I think April, May-ish is when I started streaming, but we will, we will check. <laughs> Um, so I I didn't stream Last of Us because I, I didn't even know Twitch was a thing until like last year I think. I had no idea about it. Um, so I just played it, just played, played through it and then played through it again. And... Oh, we've read that already. Dang it. I love watching people play Last of Us for the first time. Um, on YouTube there was a whole series where people recorded like uh, elderly people from like I think it was a retirement village playing The Last of Us for the first time ever <laughs> and it was just incredible it was so good and some of them they got pretty good at playing the game um we've been here that's the no okay let's get our bearings where did we go last time I think we went up and over. Nope. I'm so lost. I'm so turned around. And there's guardian person. Do <laughs> all the side. Oh, Eddie's having a nightmare. Oh, she's having a nightmare. I wish I could just turn around the camera, but she's on the couch. Just like. Woo! There's our ball that we knocked over. Okay, we haven't been here. Good, good. Oh, I can see some cable. We're gonna get ourselves a poncho. <laughs> um, exactly what I do in laundry mats, lol. Still the, <laughs> still the like detergent. Mm, I know I missed some streams. So yeah, I've only I've done a lot of cooking streams. I've played Days Gone and Ori in the Blind Forest, and now Stray. Let's get this cable. <gasps> Can I trade? Azuz. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I give you something in exchange. Well, good thing we stole some detergent. Um, what type of game is that? Uh, so Last of Us is favorite game of all time. It's like a yeah, post-apocalyptic survival adventure game, very strongly uh, story driven game and yeah there's these things called clickers and they're like zombies but more terrifying they, they came from um, like a disease basically like what's it called Cordy Cordy cordyceps yeah so it's like a real disease that affects ants and they go crazy and they attack each other and they grow all these gross so it's a real disease but it had transferred to humans um, Oh look, he wants my detergent. <laughs> yes, let's show him the item. And yeah, you basically there's main character Joel and another character called Ellie, and you have to go on a on a massive mission. And I won't give any spoilers because it's the most incredible storyline ever. I would definitely recommend. And I haven't seen many people streaming on Twitch actually. There was only a couple hundred viewers for it. Which. Yeah. I don't know why. It's the best game ever. Um, although this is this is really up there. 
as now I'm gonna go make myself a poncho. <laughs> yes, so let's go back to grandma. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna take her to make a poncho? Ancient relic testament to our talent of our ancestors. Three energy cans. I think, did I keep them? Uh, I basically watched someone play The Last of Us to see how she played it. it took her two hours to escape from one place. <gasps> oh no. And I played it and passed it faster. Yep. Are you hooked on this game yet? Yes. Last girl I seen him play it. Every hour she kept saying, okay, I'm getting off in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, I've actually had to go to the bathroom for like an hour. <laughs> I could do a be right back, but I don't want to stop playing yet. I just, I need to need to give the cables to grandma so she can make me a poncho <laughs> what what is this game um four hours later she was still playing uh how much for it so it's only 40 dollars australian so i'm not sure how that converts but yeah value wise yes definitely 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 um so let's check if we have <gasps> we do we have a good thing we collect things. See, this is why I always collect as much as I possibly can. What? Oh, I get a memory. But yes, it's always a good approach. Um, is to collect as much as you can, explore as far as you can, or else you, yeah, it's harder to find things after you've met someone and then you have to go back and I know when Josh was playing Elden Ring, um, you were really, really stuck on that one, well, stuck on a lot of bosses, but there was one boss in particular that you're like, I don't know, I just can't do it, just can't do it. And then you watched a YouTube guide of how to attack this boss and it was basically just go find things and level up. <laughs> Yeah, so then you spend like hours and hours and hours leveling up. So, I don't know. That's always my approach anyway, just find everything. Okay, this is an early model of a companion. Back then they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. Yeah, I feel like that's that's probably where humanity's moving to. That's how it's going to start. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. Yeah. And also, it's scary, it's like they missed them. Oh, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. Yeah. Do we think Momo's a human? Maybe. But he couldn't be. It's like 400 years and they've all been dead. Surely they would tell me if Momo was a human. Um, feel free to leave for a few minutes. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Josh will tell stories when you're gone. Oh, $40. No, so $40 for the Stray game. And I think for Last of Us, I think 89 Yeah, it's usually around about there. Around about there. You know what? I'm going to go find Grandma. Um, give her the cables. And then I'll do a be right back. And just like, you run to the bathroom. Come back and then, and then I can drink some more tea. Because... <laughs> I keep like drinking more tea and have to go to the bathroom <laughs> it's so addictive to, though and before you might have seen me like moving around it's because my butt was going numb so I haven't moved in I don't know how long have we been going for I have no idea <gasps> this is a person who wanted the sheet music yes pull down oh yes music time oh it's like a petrol can made into a guitar yes let's sit and enjoy game just makes me so happy. My face is actually getting sore from smiling so much. <laughs> oh. 
That was me playing God of War. Took me like 20 tries to beat one boss until I figure out exactly how they attacked. Well, this guy's good. Listen to him. Uh, didn't try Elden Ring. I read a story about someone trying to kill a boss for two days. Yeah, was that Josh? <laughs> Josh took more than like a week, I swear, to kill some bosses. Yeah, two days. Sheesh. I, Josh didn't do it two full days in a row, though. I actually, I heard a horrible, horrible story that someone, I think it was in China, they were playing for so long they didn't get up to water themselves or like eat or anything and they actually died. There was a whole new story on it on how they just, they played so long that they didn't eat or drink or anything and they died. Which is, I don't know, it was ages ago but that's awful. You know what, this guy's gonna play you some music, maybe I'll just, instead of putting the be right back, this can be the be right back. We get him to play a different song though. So delightful. Can we get him to do a different song? We have another song. I'd like a request. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom. Oh, that's right. They can like watch, watch this. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I just meowed at the end of it. Uh, this is why I have orange juice in one glass and water in the other. And the fridge is close to my room. Yeah, because you get so caught up. Oh, there's a cat on that picture. We remember the way to grandma. Oh, I thought it was this way. Where is grandma? Mm. I cannot remember the way to grandma. Got the Audrey emotes there, dancing along. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the little, little interlude there. <laughs> We're on the commercial for Addie's Poppy Chow. Yes. I would if we had one. Mm, Grandma, are you this way? I think she might be this way. Also, look, I can run. Yep, there she is. Grandma! Hello little one, do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. I do! Thank you my dear. Oh, she reminds me of my nan. Also, my, my grandmother made myself, my sister and my cousins all different scarves, like Harry Potter scarves. 
for the different houses. So we like we put in our order. So I was Gryffindor. Um, my other cousin, like we all got different ones. All got different ones depending on what we wanted. Oh wow! Wait, this is exactly how Nan did it too. Oh, and she taught me how to knit. My grandmother. Oh, look at my poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Yes. I want to put it on. Um, how do I? <laughs> Inventory. Oh. Um, um, wait, what? Notebook, sheet music, poncho. Show to B12. Looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. No, perfect for me. It's my size. How do I wear it? Uh, examine. It can rotate it. I have to put it on. How do I put it on? Can I not put on my own poncho? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Yes. <laughs> it, yeah, if you're if you're popping off to do something else, Devia, thank you so much for being here. And yes, you have a lovely day too. Um, yeah. I don't know how to wear our poncho, but if I could, I would have that as our parting scene for you. <laughs> oh, I just attacked a bug. I don't think I can put on my poncho. Maybe we have to wait until it gets cold, and then it will let us put on our poncho. Anyway, let's run back to that other area. Because we haven't explored there very much. Um, some more sheet music? Oh, it's just a collectible. Ah, oh, I wanted to put it on. One energy. Yep, I can give you... Oh, he stole all my energy drinks. <laughs> Although we did pass a... Um, another vending machine, I'm pretty sure, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely, definitely no daylight ever. Something happened. Something drastic happened to these humans that lived here. Um, and now there's no sun. But yes, I do think. Ah, uh, I can't get out of here. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to to navigate around. Mm. Oh, we're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. Awesome. Getting a little more information on the Zerks, so clearly they've been here before. And I'm, I think maybe the Zerks are the blob things or like an evolved, I don't know, an evolved blob gross thing that attacked us before. Uh, let's show. Okay, that's what the other guy said. Yep, we need to go see. I know, we have to see Momo. Everyone's telling me that. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven or from somewhere anyway. Vince. What was this? Mm. Leto was this one's name. Um, mum, mum, mum. now I need a. I don't think we've been on this dumpster before. Oh, sorry, I missed a little bit of chat there. Um, I dressed up as Harry Potter last year. I already wear glasses, and my cousin had an actual robe. <laughs> is very cool. Yeah, I, I dressed up as Hermione for 
party that we went to one time. Actually, I think I've been to Hermione twice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Nan didn't knit you a scarf, did she? No, she did. No. Yeah, she ended up getting arthritis pretty bad and was quite painful at the end there. There's these people we were trying to make our way to. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare leave our village, it was too dangerous. Oh. Maybe Frendo over there to the right has been. Guardian, 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 Guardian is the only one who can open this door. Uh, I wanted to be Hermione. <laughs> I'm just kidding, didn't. <laughs> I figured it was a very last minute decision that we were going and I already had the had the scarf and got the brown hair and I just kind of like frizzied it up because she has frizzy hair she does have frizzy hair it's not like all nice like in the movies no in the book she doesn't look like <laughs> That was just the sweetest thing ever. They love me. Would you like a little little pat as well? I think I have to meet them first before I'm allowed to do that. Oh wait, so I think I missed something. I left in the streets and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. Mm. They like eating things. And they were worried that I was going to eat them when I first came to this little village, so... Show them our postcard, maybe. Oh, you're a mean one. Let him point his finger at me. Well, I'm not gonna scooch up next to you then. Uh, I don't know if we missed something with Rico. Oh, that was it. I don't think we have to show him anything else. So the guardian, only one who can open the door. I think they're most likely talking about... Wait, there's an arrow there. And a... Wait, that's those blobby things! Oh, there, someone's drawn a picture of one. Mm. Mm. Didn't have short hairs with people. I thought I was Sarah Snape. <laughs> I don't know if we've been here before. There's really, like, it gives no help. Like, where is, there's no map or anything. Wait, seven minutes, 43 since last checkpoint. You really do just have to explore. But there's no, like, Usually there's like a little map down the bottom so you can kind of get your bearings, but... Mm. Not with this game. And I think... Is that where we've been to? I think we've been in there. I think maybe that's where we came from. Oh! Mm -mm. I, yep, I feel like we've been in here. Yes, we have. Yep. So, let's find our way to the elevator. Over there. Wait. We've been there. We've been to the bottom of it, at least. I think Guardian knows more than he's telling us. I kind of wish I could just jump off, but it, it, you have to find your way down, or else it doesn't doesn't let you just drop down. Boo! <laughs> Have we met before? You do look a little like a zerk, from afar at least. Mm. Yeah, it must be the blob things, because they're very small. They look inside. Ah, uh, okay. It's basically confirmed now. It's definitely the blob things. 
they look and sound cute but don't be fooled those things chew through metal they're terrifying they are terrifying they they killed me like two or three times already um okay Yep, we need that already. Guardian, are you not telling us something? How do I... Wait, he told us, didn't he? He told us where to go. He said something about a neon sign. Momo, yep. Yeah, but how do I find him again? It was a big orange neon sign. Ah, that one. That neon sign. There's just so many neon signs around. Okie dokie, let's... So we need to get to where the paint thrower people are. And he lives there-ish. Back up we go. sign okay oh yeah we can jump up there too man I was so oh and then we go through the window okay um, how to get there though there's lots of spikes everywhere I feel like this is a game you have to pay attention to what they're saying or else if I hadn't paid attention and I didn't pick up that we had to go to the orange neon sign place. There's no map to show you where you've been or... Yeah, put things into perspective. Okay. Yes, we did it. We found... Momo. Josh when he tinkers with things <laughs> and then I walk into the study and it's like I I tinkered too hard and you've like you've, you've broken something uh, why did I let them go I'm all alone now oh my oh, my what do you want don't be mean show this is a picture of that side do you want to go there mm, yeah don't but look at his frowny face. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. Momo's not in a good place. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that mm, receiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Oh, we gained a new item, Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I thought Momo was going to be nicer. <laughs> uh, the robots just remind me of Chappie or District 9 movies. Yes. Oscar keeps telling Audrey to push Momo. <laughs> To push Momo? Is Audrey playing right now? How amazing would it be if this was multiplayer? Some aspect of this was multiplayer, that'd be cool. Um, Momo seems very sad. You are observant little drone. He misses his friends. Maybe we can help Momo get out. Let me check the notebook he gave us. Okay, we must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's signed Clementine, which we also have information from Clementine in our little uh, pocket. Uh, Z Zedbolt. 
Those are Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Should I show him the notebook that I have? Hey little cat, he's still looking for those useless... <laughs> he's so sad. Um, let's show him... We found Clementine's note. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Hmm, he said person. So I think he's talking about some humans here. Oh, she takes Thursdays off. Right. Oh yes, because it's Thursdays. Um, it's Thursday for where you guys are. It's Friday here. It is Friday at. It's one forty-eight. What? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. No wonder my stomach is grumbling. <laughs> I do. Should I show him my poncho? Would that make you happy? I just want to make him happy. If I could put my poncho on for him, I would. That'd make him happy. I'll show him some sheet music. I think that's all we're going to get from Momo. I thought Momo was going to be more helpful. Another cow picture! <laughs> what is the fascination with the cow pictures? Also, why has he crossed out the number there, the red one, and put 8801 and then He's calculating things. I think he's trying to get the elevator to work. Maybe. Do we think that's what he's trying to do? Uh, cookie, uh, enjoy, need to sleep, see ya. Have a good sleep. I hope it's restful. And I hope it's not like 3.30 in the morning <laughs> where you are like Josh and I did the other night. So have, have a lovely night's sleep. And thanks for being here. It's been lovely chatting to you. Uh, why did my fingers type smile? <laughs> um, translation. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above us. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. That's so interesting. So we're kind of, we are trapped in something or other and the outside's there and you can kind of see a picture. And they're really fascinated by cows, I guess because they don't have cows in here, but there's cows on the outside. Cool. Uh, I don't know what that means. Frank... Crop? Reminds me of Frankfurt's, which reminds me of food. <laughs> Reminds me I'm hungry. Also on Sunday we'll be doing <gasps> toy. Yes. Maybe this will cheer up Momo. Let's push it over to Momo. Maybe he'll play with us. This is what Addie does when I'm sad. She brings over a toy and like shoves it at me. Like, look, mum. Um <laughs> Thanks you too. Outsiders. Okay, so this is the symbol that we're talking about before. So the symbol for the outsiders. It's a weird symbol. Um, kind of trapped our. This is so realistically cat. Like I, I lost my bowl. There it is. Okay. Yes, push it that way and then that way. Push it towards Momo and brighten his day. Nope. No. Momo. Does this make you happy? Look, I'm a kitty and I'm playing with the ball. No, he's still pretty sad. Look at him. So sad. <laughs> Look at my little droid guy in my backpack there. So cute. He doesn't come out very often, does he? Where should we go? Liking the music. So the robots do like music. 
I think some Zergs don't like music. <laughs> Josh, I got a bag on my head. <laughs> now we have to go show Momo. Oh no, I can't. It's disorientating me. I can't. Oh no, have I glitched out? <gasps> Josh, I've glitched oh, out. No. I can't move. Oh, oh wait. Oh, no, you're... That was weird. Where'd the bag go? That was the game then. That was the game issue. Oh, where'd my bag go? I was going to go show Momo. I'm going to stick it back on my head. But yeah, it's weird. I got stuck like I did before in that wall when we first met the, the robot. No, it's not going back on. Oh, I thought that would have cheered him up. Although I don't think that's really... Um, you left your fridge open. Oh, this looks like an expensive, uh, expensive bottle of wine. Look, there's another cow. <laughs> it should be every time I see a picture of a cow, every time we see a picture of a cow, we take a drink of water or tea. Chamomile tea. So responsible. Uh, yeah, we can't knock that one over. Damn. That would have been a good crash, I feel like. It's really hard to move around in this house for some reason. Maybe if I sneak up behind him and meow, it'll spook him. Oh no. I didn't want to talk with you, I wanted to spook you. No, he doesn't care. Oh yay! That's the same picture of the cow now. Either way, we'll take it. We'll hydrate a little more. Back home to I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created. I can't remember what. Okay, well that's a little bit of a clue. If we can figure out when the game was made, then we can see how old he is, and then how old the human was that made him. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun, I miss him. Oh. Can't remember his name. I wonder if our scientist guy that made us... No. I'll come back to that theory. <laughs> I, I was just wondering if maybe the scientist guy is dead and he downloaded his consciousness into our little droid guy. So we're not actually looking for a human because our little droid guy is the guy and he knew he was going to die so maybe he downloaded his consciousness and he's just forgotten parts because we didn't get to download all of them. <laughs> that little toad thing. Problem. Season 1. Ah, so they've got some like... They've got some duplicates of photos I've been noticing uh, pop up, but that's that's why. Um, what's this place? The bathroom. What's that? Is that red? That's weird. Oh, more sheet music. Another cow. Is that the same one? It was. It was the same, it was the same cow, like same cow picture, but smaller. So I, yeah, they're reusing some of their pictures of the cow. Either way, hydrate <laughs> every time. What, is something glowing back here? I feel like something's glowing and I can't get to it. Why, why can't I jump? <laughs> nah, it won't let me. I don't know, maybe there's nothing glowing. It's a really weird door for a toilet, by the way, don't you think? Like, there's your living quarters, and then you've got this door that you can see straight into, and it has a lock on there, and then toilet. That's weird. 
that uh, who designed that time for more scratches just to make Momo's day worse I'm just gonna scratch up his walls <laughs> I do love that salty dance that's probably the the mode that I use the most aside from the Addy ones is um yeah the little like toad dance one <laughs> it's really really funny I think wait I'm I'm confused what what did we have to do again we have to find more of the journals oh. let's just talk with them one more time so we're definitely looking for notebooks and we showed him everything we have so I think we we just we're just gonna walk out even though we were took us so long to get here okay this symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook what one what are you looking at I can't see where he's looking does it wait we already visited this place but we could check if there is other signs like that is it just the sad the face okay so it's i was trying to figure out what the symbol was but it's basically just a, a little face uh not if only other person living there <laughs> <laughs> oh look there's another symbol over there how to get there <laughs> oh yes <laughs> I love being a cat uh right so we're going over there yeah, it's a pity you can't just just jump wherever you want. Like you can't just jump. I guess you'd die a lot more then. Um, so if we make our way over to that face, I don't think we've been there before. Still just taking a nap, staring up at the non-sky. That's such a weird like thing to think about. That really this place has a ceiling. Oh, what a tree's growing on the on the wall. Oh, kitty didn't like that jump. Okay, I feel like we're getting better at navigating. I was pretty lost for a while there. road cones oh what is this this is a remote <gasps> tv time at his favorite breaking news are they still televising stuff maybe also how do they not know i was a cat they've got like those little like cats everywhere like the ooh. so I was gonna jump off the edge then. Yeah, I think that's just frozen on that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's a symbol there. So maybe outsiders are putting up signs. If you want to make your way to the outside, and they're like giving us a little hint. I just, I just gotta do a thing first. <laughs> It is gonna. Imagine if I fell off. And then we'd have to do that all over again. I would die. <laughs> oh, got a little close there. <laughs> the robot just walks away like, ugh. This cat. Who let this cat in? Oh, look at the library. 
Hey, Josh, look, it's like my YouTube video. It is. It's like my YouTube video. Yeah. If anyone missed it, I uploaded my very first YouTube video yesterday. First ever. Um, and we went to the brand new Dimmix, which is in this beautiful old building with these amazing ceilings. And they have lots of places where you can just sit and read in the Dimmix. Um, thank you for adding. <laughs> uh, the zooming in looks amazing. It does. It gets like the focus. Like, what? So cat like. Oh, I wish we could move when. You, okay, so you can't move when you're zoomed in. But that'd be cool. Another piano. It's so accurate as well, like, it's exactly when you step on, ah, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I want more encore on, yes, YouTube videos, yes, I will, so yes, I've set myself a little challenge to upload at least one, well, upload one video every week for the next year. Um, I've got heaps and heaps of footage. That was a weird little jump I just did. Um, oh, look, I'm having a nap. Josh, can we get a cat? Sure. Look, I'm just having a little snooze. I deserve a little snooze. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just subscribe. Thank you, Harley Quinn. Yeah, brand new to the whole editing thing. So I learned heaps from the last video, uh, mainly that I, I need to like not be walking when I'm filming as much or like hold the camera a little steadier. It's just this tiny little like G7X camera. So it's very small and unobtrusive. It's actually smaller than my phone, kind of, because my, my phone is giant. It's like the biggest phone ever. Okay, how to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human? Hmm. Love this music, and I love all the pictures they have everywhere. I, I feel like we've seen this picture before, so I think this might be like one of their leader, one of their leader robots, maybe. Josh's burger looks scrumptious in the video. It was to die for, and the prices were pretty affordable. Like those dumplings were only sixteen dollars, and they're. The, yeah, best dumplings I've ever had in my entire life and now it's made me like rethink my dumplings game of yeah just needing to make them to that level now so it's really like set my expectations for dumplings far higher than it already was how good were those dumplings Pete was just saying your your burger and the video looked delicious oh, and the goodness. chips the chips I don't know what they cooked them in but just make the mouth water. Yeah, the burger was amazing. Burger was delicious, and it was it was huge. <laughs> I wish, yeah, I wish I had like focused on things more in the in the video, like clicked focus on the <laughs> on the uh, like little focus pad. But I'm learning, learning for next ones. I definitely need more footage of the actual dumplings. Yes, Josh always uses um, how good a cheeseburger is to judge a place. Oh, hey Doc, I found these keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. These are my keys now. Yeah, the fries. I don't know what they were cooked in. I need to find out what they were cooked in. Even though I read that, I feel like I didn't take it in. Sorry. <laughs> Found the keys. Oh yeah, we got the keys. You know why I'm not taking it in? Because I'm hungry. Because we're talking about fries and burgers in my stomach. Soon you're going to be able to hear it growling. Okay, that's not enough to bury your safe. 
uh, behind a bunch of books. Okay, so we're looking for a safe. That I thought there was something we missed. Just the librarian. Just the librarian. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> also, we've seen this uh, face before. Do we think this is Clementine? Oh, uh, what, uh, there's a, there's an arm there with blood on it. What? Um, there's a body part here. What? Why is there a, that's gross. There's a body part there. An arm. An arm with blood on it. That's so random. I'm scared now. I'm gonna believe that that's a mannequin arm, but I. There was blood on it. What? The music's so delightful though, why is. Okay, now we need to. I guess we need to knock down all these books to find a safe. Because we have the keys now. Oh, what a fun place to be a cat. Look, there's like things to like walk on and knock off. <laughs> yes, tumble. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit loud. I got very excited. Use item. Um, keys. Yay! And another little cat. Is there a specific name for those special waving cats? Nice work, another notebook. Ah, oh, the person named Doc. Oh, I did not read that fast enough. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be uh, uh, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks. Okay, UV. Oh. That's probably why there's no sun, because the Zerks don't like sun. So maybe they created this whole environment of having the ceiling instead of the sky. Maybe. Mm. So, spectrometer, powerful UV lamp. And they ward off the Zerks. So that's what I need if they come at me again. Ah, initial attempt it was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, so they don't like light. How do we find our torch, by the way? Isn't there a torch option? Oh. I just pressed the back arrow and we can talk to B12 whenever we want, apparently. We found three notebooks, one more, and we're good. After looking at the abandoned flats of the area, you should be able to see them all from the rooftops. Look for an outsider logo. I'm glad I actually know what the logo looks like now, because before, when the robots were talking about it, I was like, I didn't take in that information. I don't know what it looks like. Okay. Let's go find that other... What a good use of a fridge. <laughs> just ram in some books there. That's what we're going to have to do soon, Josh, if we keep buying more books. What's that? Yeah. Use a fridge. Oh, yeah. It's nice and cool. That's like an excessive amount of TV monitors. Yeah. It's also our house. <laughs> this is our house, Josh. Nice. Yeah, uh, we'll dox ourselves. <laughs> in this game. Yes, this is where we live now. Um, I don't think we missed anything. And we translated that already. Yep. Yep, we've already read that. Um, oh, redeemed hydrate. Thank you very much. Yeah, my tea is no longer hot. It was no longer hot like two hours ago. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming hydrate. <laughs> I won't be on the news like that guy who, who died from not drinking or eating for, I, I don't even know how many, it was like two weeks or something. Daddy was playing that game non-stop. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, okay, no, we've officially, we've officially seen everything. Let's see. And we're back out. Oh, there's an outsider symbol right there. Let's make our way. Oh, Addy's snoring. <laughs> I really want to spin around the camera, but it's attached to the monitor. You have to take my word for it. Addie is on the couch and she's snoring. <laughs> Josh, we need Addie Cam. Josh just wants to have a better stream, me, uh, better stream than me, so that's why he has Addie Cam on his and he still hasn't put it on mine. Yeah, we've got this little movable webcam on uh, Josh's desk and when he streams, you can, like, if Addie's on her bed, oh yes. If Addie's on, your, on her bed, then you can just position at her and when she moves around or does something weird. Chaos. Look at me go. Ah, oh, I can't move these ones. Too heavy. Too little. Um, so I think we need to get into that spot with that outsider symbol. Josh is just chuckling at Addie, snoring. Okay, in, in, it looks like it's in a bit of a cage. Uh, see, it's hard. This is why I lose my bearings because you have to jump down so, so many different things. Ooh. Um I'm so disappointed that we can't wear that poncho that we got from grandma. That's the biggest disappointment this is the only disappointment in this game so far is a Yep. And who would have known it was- oh look he's still not as disappointed as this guy though. Sorry. <laughs> this is my bad. How... how do I... there. Oh. Ah, uh, I, I was- I was making my way down there. Seem to live in the upper flats, we won't find anything in these narrow streets. I know, but I was- I'm trying to get up there. He's so mad. Wait, what are you- what are you doing? Is this the person I stole the detergent from? <laughs> they all know each other. I'll, I'll show them nothing. I don't want them stealing from me. Run away. Surgery. What? Fritz or pasta stash. Yes, please. Fritz or pasta. Please don't act like a child, I'm not gonna hurt you. Let's do it again. Oh we can't. I thought that we could make our way up from down here, but I am not sure if we can. BRB, I love how they put that's all good. See ya. If you come back and we're still playing, I really do need to eat. <laughs> I've had a muesli bar today and it is now. It's 2 17, so I, you know what, I really should. I should probably wrap it up here, even though I, I want to keep playing. I probably won't eat on stream. Josh is making some, well, he's pulling out some chorizo pasta from a stream that I made ages ago where I recreated my my grandmother's chorizo pasta. Speaking of grandmothers, the grandmother in the game, who reminds me of my grandmother. Um, so yeah, I think I might wrap it up here, but I've had the most fun playing this game and I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop, but I, I should probably eat something and I should probably do a little bit of work today. 
I don't want to do work today. I just want to play this all day. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up there, and I think let's let's find someone to raid. Um, I'll bring my keyboard back over, seeing as though we had to hide it from Addy, who kept on stomping on it. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for being here. Thanks everyone for watching. It's been really fun experiencing this for the first time with you guys. Four out. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Awesome. Well, let's maybe let's find someone playing Stray. Yeah. Um. Yes, we'll find someone playing Stray, and you can keep keep watching. Um. Oh, this person's up to where we were. With the, I don't know how to copy their name from here. I never do this. I've done this once myself. And then I just copy their name. Oh. We are, this, this person here is playing, wait, Shredded Athlete Programmer, but this time a cat. It looks like they're having fun. Yeah. We're gonna, oh, all right, good night for me. For, oh, that's, oh, that's all good. I hope you have a lovely night, Pete, and have a good sleep. And thanks so much for being here. I had just the best time, and I can't believe that I played, played for, like, over four hours. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, there goes the day. Um, slash raid. Is that right? Yep. I did it. Okay. And press it to the still, still getting used to it. Josh is usually doing this from here as I'm in the other room. And he's getting things. All right. Oh, yep. Harley Quinn's back. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that I probably need to eat something and I should probably do a little bit of work today. So I should, I should stop playing even though I don't want to. But I think I'm going to stream this whole game so yeah. next stream i think is on sunday and we'll probably be cooking something because we are just making our way straight through all the tuna mone and the chorizo pasta we've had a lot of pasta lately carbs and cheese okay uh have a lovely night and thanks for being here and i'll see you on sunday bye